Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Quarter. Happy Sunday, right? Yes. Now, if you've uh, if you've read your emails, have you been uh, up bright and early enough to do that yet? Mm, you'll notice that we've got an online offer for you. So this is for customers old and new. If you spend twenty pounds online, so nothing that we're showing on the shows today. This is just online on any web shop purchases over twenty pounds. Use that code free one and you get a free pair of pinking shears. Now this is for 48 hours only, so this is gonna end tomorrow. It's a, uh, you know, start of the month, little something for you. Let's treat yourself, treat yourself. One per customer. Everybody needs a good pair of pinking shears. So uh, grab yourself a bargain, online web purchases only. But do you know what? Once you've got that basket open, have a look at what we've got on the shows as well, because we've got one P&P &P per day. So make the most of that. And let's have a look at what we've got coming up today. So it's easy, like Sunday morning. It should be easy. Yes. Oh, and cold, apparently. Uh, 8 a.m. Star Runner. Um, it is amazing. I can't wait to show you that. Then 9 o'clock. Ooh, I so need that. Um, it's Irene back with her amazing gadgets, and we love it. Now, brand oh yeah, two brand new goodies there that you just need in your life. 10 o'clock is the Butterfly's Block. There's a bit of cafe that hour, you know just because we can. And then at 11 o'clock, books and lamps um, and gadgets if we've got any left over from Irene or if they haven't sold out. Because they're great and you're gonna love them. That's the way it's working today. Now, um, behind lovely Lucy, who is up this hour, by the way, hello Lucy, uh, is a very, very stunning quilt. Have a look at this. Ta-da! Oh, that's good. You didn't get the shot where I photobombed it. <laughs> Uh, and she's used one of the creative grids, which we'll get to in just one moment. But we have got two bundles for you. So if you'd like the confetti one, which is what uh, Lucy's used there, so modern and fresh and funky and really rather beautiful, then it's 55 95 for five metres of fabric. Mmm, lovely. Dashwood, dashwood, beautiful confetti fabrics there. Aren't they gorgeous? So um, this, this sort of, these colours were voted the nation's favourite colour. Did you know? No. So, perfect. So you get three meters of your peacock, which is just gorgeous. Look at that one. And then a meter each of this. So you can make a whopping bed runner, table runner. Yeah. So the one that Lucy's done has got three, but this is enough so that you can make seven of those stars. Seven, it's a lot. Now, the other option is in case you want to do a Christmas table runner. So it's a little bit more festive, a little bit more traditional. So a little something for everyone today. So five meters again, a meter of your green, a meter of your red, and then three meters of your lovely vanilla linear. 53.45 again. So DZGC99. Now the book that this has come out of is over here. Uh, we've got a creative grid to go with it because obviously this book is all about using rulers. So we found a ruler to go with it and it's really rather fab. And this is all out of the book. We will have a closer look in the book, but the book has got all sorts of goodies in it. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so lots of inspiration, lots of ideas in there, lots of things to play with. And it's 1095. Uh, PMSP98 gets you that. Now, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Very well. Beautiful. Yay. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. But in order to do it, you need the creative grid. You do. You do. It's um, a 120 degree ruler. It'd be quite tricky to make it without this. This makes it really easy. That's what to I do. want. I want ease. Yeah. I want something that's going to make my life easy because it's easy like Sunday morning. Absolutely. Yes. Um, so this is what I want. Now, we haven't seen this since March. No, I know. March. Where's it been? Long time. And now it's October. That's well, a year gone, more to the point. <laughs> Crikey. Uh, so 24 95 gets you the 120 degree ruler. Six inches by Rachel Cross, daughter of the founders of Creative Grids. Yep. Made by quilters for quilters. Absolutely. That's what's important. How do we use this? So um, I'm following the uh, pattern that's in the book. And um, I should mention in the book, um, the ruler for this pattern is um, a different brand. 
and so it has instructions of how to use that ruler and it involves cutting and folding and cutting and folding and you don't need to do that with this ruler. So, so this it, one makes it easier? Yes, so if you're following this pattern and using this ruler, you just need to do it the way I'm going to show okay, you how to perfect. do it. Which is, it is easier and uh, less time consuming. Now, you have got in your bundles of fabric five metres, which is enough to make seven of these starts. Yes. That's huge. And that, yes, yeah, so that, the finished bed runner for that one is 105 inches by 17 and a half. Inches? Yes. Yeah. That's so it, it's a really huge. long, yeah. The the blocks themselves. That's I think, over two are, and a half meters. You know, the blocks are about fifteen inches. So seven of that. I mean, that's more yeah. than double what we've got on the wall there. That's a big old bed, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But lovely. I mean, just gorgeous. Wow. It'd be beautiful. You know, a really long one. Or if you've got amazing. a really long Christmas table. Yeah. Wow. Actually, yeah. we said that each individual one would be a lovely table mat just to place. It that, would. It? I yes. think it would be. I'm quite tempted to make that. <laughs> mm. I need some place mats. Mm. So but perfect for Christmas. Yeah, Christmas and place mats. It's, it's there is actually. I mean, there's you know there's different techniques involved in ma in making this, which I'll talk through. But the it's you know relatively easy. Um, so long as you've got the ruler, then okay. you're good to go. So they do come together quite quickly. Once you've now, got all your shapes. I want to ask if, I think it's Karen, isn't it, that is our viewer who is collecting at, a, at an alarming rate. Does she have is this, this going to be number 13? I think we're <laughs> up to number 13 now. Yeah. I think, I think that's where we're at. Message in and let's have, a, let's have a look. Right, where do we start? What do we do? OK, so um, the first thing that we do is cut strips. So I've cut the strips the same as just the same as the, the pattern in the book. So these are three inch okay. um, strips. And then from then on, you don't need to do um, any measuring or anything. So you've got your three inch strips and then we're going to go ahead and, and cut. I've already cut some out of the background fabric. So is this three inches of each of the fabrics? Yes. Oh, so fast. three inches of uh, each colour and three inch strips of the of the background. Um, and I'm, I'm using the uh, red and green and I've just um, layering yeah, yeah. The, the two strips of those together so that I can cut more. You can confidently do that with a Creative Grids grid yes. ruler, yeah, whatever you want absolutely. to call it. Absolutely. Yeah. Because it's got that non slip grip. It's what sets it apart. Yeah. Love it. So then all you need to do is line it up. Um, I haven't trimmed my selvages off because this bit um, we're going to cut off anyway. So you want to make sure you're away from the edge of, you know, from the selvage. Yeah. Don't, you don't want to start out here because you don't want to end up with that in your quilt. So the, on here, it's a two and a half inch finish size. Oh, okay. But you don't need to think about it. You just make, need to make sure that the top is li and you're lined up with a, a line on the ruler. <laughs> whatever line width somewhere. You've, yeah, yes. whatever width you've cut your um, strips to. And it does have the measurements on the side here. So it tells you the strips. So if you want to cut your strips with this, you can you do. Can. But it isn't the, the, it isn't the, um, You'd it have isn't to quite it the in... full width of okay. the fabric, so I prefer to use the normal uh, longer ruler to cut my fabric strips. So you're just lining that up on the side, and then I'm going to cut this way and this way for the um, first one. Easy, done. Pop those in your scraps for your uh, English paper piecing. Yeah, and then we've got four triangles cut. Just, just done, as quick just as like that. that. Yeah. Um, if I were trying to do this with templates and things yes. like that. Yeah, no, it would be very complicated. And the, this book doesn't include templates. It is designed to, you, to with use rulers. with rulers. The hint yeah. is in the name. Um, yes. <laughs> Good <laughs> you know, point. Yeah, quilts with rulers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so I can just, if you can see from, the, from a strip that's the full yeah. width of the fabric, I've got three You can squeeze cuts, another one out. Obviously, yeah. I'm making a lot more triangles than that. That's excellent. And then um, I have discovered actually this one mm. is oh. a bonus. Oh, nice. So it's actually perfectly that half bit. So sometimes it is worth just checking those yeah. end bits. So I've got an extra. extra well, I guess in the book, this well. is where the folding comes in, isn't it? Yes. That's what you, you're doing that with a different ruler. But you don't well, need to yeah, do this. That, that ruler is half of this. It's, yeah. it's different, and I, I prefer this one. So. Um, you so are a creative I am, girl. I am. So just very quickly and easily, you cut out all your triangles. If you're making the um, very long runner, I think it's 48 or something like that, oh, 42. OK. Yeah, 42 triangles. So hang on, how many have we cut out now? Well, I'm not Two, doing that four, many. Two, four, six, eight, 
10, 12. We've only got well, yeah, an hour. That's, I mean, that, you yes. only have to do that four yeah, times. It, yeah, so actually, it, it that's incredibly quick. Yeah, it doesn't take long at all. Because you said yesterday that cutting was your least favourite bit. Yeah, if, it, if it's very time consuming, yes. I've and just, laborious. Um, it's not my favourite thing to do. That makes it so much easier, doesn't it? But yeah, it's so, so quick easier. and easy. Um, so then you've got your triangle. So the block, um, if I can just show you on here, the block is actually that triangle there. Oh, so okay. it's made up of three of these triangles. Uh, hang on a minute. And that's the block that we're making. And so then you make six of those. By a Y seam. Yes, there is a Y seam. Okay. Yesterday, we did an intermediate quilt. We've decided that this one is an adventurous beginner. Yes. Ooh, because, but because of that Y seam. Because of the Y seam. And I think um, when people begin quilting, a Y seam is something that seems... You know, oh no, how do I do that? I don't want to try that. Um, but actually, I would encourage beginners to do it. I think it's a it's, it's a, the only way to learn. Yeah, it's a great technique to be able to do. It means that it opens up more um, pattern possibilities yes. and uh, different ways of piecing. So I wouldn't want anybody to be afraid. And I'm going to show you some tips of how to get a perfect. She says, "Why well, see?" <laughs> Um, I have every today. faith in you. And, and how to make it easy, you know, how to just make it a little bit easier for everybody. So, um, once you've cut oh, out... Karen's your... message. Yes. Uh, good morning, ladies. You're so right, Natasha. Number 13 <laughs> is indeed in my basket and the book and ready to check out. Oh, <laughs> good hi, morning, Karen. Karen. <laughs> uh, the book is very popular today. Please do grab it. This is the one that we're doing. Uh, stars at night are big and bright. Big and bright. They are big. They are big. And it's, it's bright, a big, depending and, on what fabric you know, it's, it is something. It's nice to have those big blocks because it does come together quite quick. Um, I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't use that as a bed runner. Mm -hmm. I would actually use it as a Christmas wall hanging. Yes, well, that's. it does look beautiful hung it up on does. the wall. It does. 15 different projects in here. Um, yeah, as soon as we hung it on the wall, I was like, that's the one. That's the one. Look at it. Oh, yeah. But a lot of people as well have, you know, a narrow space in their home that just might need brightening I up. Have. So that's the perfect. I have. Because it's not too wide. Only that's when I discover a great big hole behind the light on the wall. And I was like, <laughs> oh, no, that shouldn't be there, should it? Hello, electrician. There you are. Um, anyway, so if you're after the fabric, we have two different... Oh, nice. Oh, uh, lots in there. Now, five metres of fabric, so you can indeed make seven stars big and bright. So three metres of the one on the left, which is the peacock, and then a metre each of the other two, which is Dashwood Studios Confetti. Love, love, know, love that. That white print, I, I'm enamoured by that. I think Actually, the I like shapes the are beautiful. I love the shapes of the white one. I'm all about the dark one. Love that one. I like the dark one too. <laughs> Sorry, you have a favourite. I'll have a favourite. It, it's all good. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then no one's complaining. Oh, <laughs> Christmas, hello. But this is... Partly Italian flag, but partly Christmas. But so, not yeah. so Christmassy that you can't have it up for the rest of the year. No, yes. I mean, if you've yeah. got... I think this would look lovely on brown leather sofas, things like that. Yes, it would. Yeah. Yeah, it that would. That would sit very nicely. And, I mean, if you wanted room. to make it, you know, more festive, you could use... Um, gold thread to quilt oh, it nice. or something like that would look really lovely because it's got that cream colour in there. We had some beautiful metallic thread. Mm. Well, this one's most popular so far, Christmas one. Everyone's thinking Christmas. Yeah, but it is nice because it's a floral, so you're yeah. right, it doesn't have to be Christmas and you could hang this up and have it all year round. It would yeah, be fine. Yeah, it would be lovely, yeah. especially if, you know, if you've got that more traditional home. Yes. Yeah, then and I think what's nice is that it's paired with that linear, so it's got a little bit more, mo you know, it's not completely traditional you've got that just it'll to... settle into any yes, environment you put exactly it in. that's yes, the key exactly. 5345 uh producer paul says check out your baskets it's like a broken record <laughs> carrying on from yesterday check out your baskets check out your baskets um but it is very popular so do check out your baskets okay so i'm going to show you how to um do your y seam why? so i've already why because why? we can we, I, we said we re, uh, read a lovely story and it go, it's uh, all about a child asking why, 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 why. And the, f the dad um, says at the end, because why has a long tail. Like a why. <laughs> oh, nice. I know. It's sweet. So that's always my answer now. Why has a long tail? So um, to make it easier when you come to sew, because what, what, when we're saying why seam, what we mean is if you sew the two triangles together. Yeah. So you just sew those as, you know, as normal but you start a quarter of an inch 
from the edge. So you don't start right at the edge, you start a quarter of an inch away from oh, the okay. edge. Okay. Right. So why, that's the why, first why? trick. Why? So that you can fit your Y. Because <laughs> it has a long tail. So <laughs> then you're fitting this in and you're having to sew like this. Okay. Like a, a Y. <laughs> um, so in order to do that, you have to pivot. And so in order to know where to start, I like to mark the seam. Right. And then when I'm pivoting on this section, I also mark the seam okay. there. So there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can draw the seam lines on. Mm -hmm. And what's very handy about this ruler is it's got that quarter of, of an inch has. marking. Because you can fabulous. see there that dashed um, line is the quarter of an inch. So you just top along the edge and you can draw your line there. And then you do the same on this side, draw your line. And then I like to just give an extra little dot. Just to there, mark that. There, that's where I'm pivoting. Yeah, so it just makes it clearer for me as I'm sewing if I put a, a dot there. Now we've had another message. Okay. Yeah. Um, Valerie is basically <gasps> saying... Valerie. Karen, I see your 13 <laughs> creative grids and I raise you by 16. She says, hi, I love watching Lucy at work. I have 16 creative grids rulers. <laughs> love them. Yeah. Well, Valerie, that's the thing. Once you start with them, you yeah, got But them. they're so, you know, you it's it's something that you, you combine, you combine the different shapes and everything but you will use them. them yes you will use them and that's you know that's what you know you can buy all the things but it's great to have things that you're getting value out of you're getting <sighs> use out of and that you, that are enjoyable to use what fun stop it <laughs> stop it oh, oh now this is yeah gorgeous. now you are getting um with your creative grid never throw this away when it, it'll come uh, a bit like this and in your haste and excitement, you'll go, oh, that's great, that's great, that's great. <laughs> Don't throw that away. Never throw, Never throw it, away. it away. Have a little booklet or something, or you bulldog clip yours, don't you? Yes, I do. Uh, yes, yes, she does. There you go. Um, With my bulldog clip. <laughs> these are your instructions. These show you how to use the creative grid. If you don't have Lucy to hand, then this is the way forward. Because we don't have Lucy 24-7, sadly. As much as yeah. we would love to, but you will have this 24-7. So, and then, look, look at that! Want, 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 want. Yes. So that's, yes. Stuff that, you know, that gives a really 3D effect. So you saw on that's the other amazing. side there, that talks you through um, piecing the strips together and creating these pyramid um, shapes. But that's not what we're doing today, we're doing this one today. No. But so, then you've got that. Yeah, so when you look at that, you know, you don't have to um, use strips with this ruler you can just use the use it as is okay karen says i've got quite a few different blocks now with trying the creative grids i'm not perfect but i'm an adventurous uh, an adventurous beginner in patchwork um and well done valerie yeah <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I like this i like a bit of a, a bit of banter I know, that's of really a morning nice. and geraldine says well i like an adventurous beginner that's yeah. great yeah, it that's is. what it's about and it's I, that's, I want to encourage that i i i I don't really like putting labels on things so much. You know, obviously, sometimes there are things that are beginner and things that are advanced. I understand that. But it's for everybody. Yes. It really is for everybody. Yes. Geraldine. Um, Geraldine. Said, oh, Geraldine. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you. That's OK. Says, morning, ladies. Got book and ruler ordered. You both make me laugh. Good. Uh, I understand every term you use. I'm on the same wavelength. Love, Geraldine. Oh, hey, bless you. Thank, thank, thank you. Worry you. She's on I know the same that's way. what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> we don't explain thing. things very well at all. <laughs> <laughs> we we haven't, don't have words half the time, do we? Well, I found you awful today. the other day. <laughs> well, you didn't have any words the other way. No, I like, didn't. None. I know. That was right. awful. Let's okay. wide seam it up. So you, you can draw your lines on like I've just demonstrated or even easier... Although I, I do recommend lines, I like the lines so that as you're sewing, you know you're coming up to the point, if you see what Confidence, I mean. You can check your seam. But once you're happy and you know what you're doing, what's great about this ruler is you can easily find the... Um, let me do it right, that way. Goodness me, Lucy, there we go. You line up the quarter inch seam with the edge and then it's got a line that runs along the middle and you line that up with that edge, yeah. and you can see that dotted line, so there. There, there. So all you need to do is put a point. Oh, nice. 
So that makes it really quick and easy. So I only mark on the fabric that I'm going to be creating the Y with and one side okay. um, of the fabric. You don't need to do all three because once we've sewn this together, I can then, you know, it's done. I can use that one. So, so I'll this from is that the side. key. Mark that quarter inch in. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I need to do that that way. So it'll be like that. that yeah. So whichever side I've put the point on, then that's going to be the one that's on top. Yeah. So I can see that's where I'm going to sew my quarter inch. Excellent. Excellent. So you can do a point or you can mark your lines. It's, you know, it's up to you. So you just want to get those level and then you're going to start at the point and this is crucial. This no is, pressure. No but pressure, you know, but this is crucial. Don't so do it any other way. I hand crank because I want to know oh, it's that. that that needle's going directly through that dot. So yesterday we discovered uh, your penchants for points. I know. Uh, and this I do is like no a point to point. No. Yeah. And then I, I do like to back stitch at the beginning and end of my seams because it keeps things. And obviously, because with this, we're, to, we're going to be Putting sort of turning it and pressure. putting it under a bit yeah. of pressure. So you do want to do a back stitch when you start, but you want to be careful that you don't go back over that dot. So you just need to be cautious with this when you're back machine, stitching. It can do like three stitches in one place. It can a locking stitch. You could do that. It, would that be easier? And then you're in that place ready to go. Yes, you could. The only. The tricky a thing is, because you're pivoting and you're going back over that seam, if you've got a knot there, it could interfere slightly. I haven't, I haven't tried it, so, so I'm not sure, but we're going to go so back over that seam. So okay. having a knot in that point might create a bit more bulk right. when you come to do it. So you, you experiment. Give it, Give it a, a go. go. Um, I think also these would make amazing cushions. Yes. Yeah, I really like the idea yeah. of them being cushions. You could just do an individual one yes. or you could do three like that. And, you know, you'd have to make your own stuffing. But that could be put in the it. world's most exciting draft excluder. <laughs> yeah, it could. Couldn't it? It could. Yeah, it really could. Absolutely. Because um, in our house, we've got a few drafts going on. Old house and all that. That, I think the bobbin's not threaded properly, so... I might have to just do that again. The tension's off. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I would say that. Uh, let's go look at some fabric then while we do that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Now, we've got an offer today, uh, which is if you buy £20 or more on the web only, web shop purchase only, that means nothing that we've shown you on air. If you want stuff from on air, that's great. Please do check out that. But also, basically have a rummage around the website because it's amazing what you find. We do this regularly. We sit in the office and go, oh, what do we actually have on our website? What can we put? Producer Paul's particularly good at rummaging. And, um, and, uh, and it's amazing what we can come up with. But so do have a look. This is a one uh, wild stocks last stitch situation. One per person. It might not last the full 48 hours. Don't know. Don't know how many of these we've actually got. Um, but, yeah, check out your baskets. Make sure that you've got that. Remember, you can check out your baskets as many times as you like. We will only charge you one PMP per day of 2 95 which I think is excellent. Uh, confetti first. This is my favourite confetti one. Lucy's is that one. But you get a metre of each. You get, Actually, in this bundle, you get a whopping five metres. And I just think that that is fabulous. Um, now, this is your peacock under here. Wow, three metres of this. That's a lot, isn't it? In fact, Amy's here. Amy, grab the other end of this, my love, please. Because uh, there's quite a lot. Right. Da, 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 da. So just so that you understand how much three metres is, There you go. Uh, that's quite a lot. Rather a lot. Yay! Amy! Amy's on TV. Oh, your mother will be so proud. Hello, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> but that's three metres, just to put it... I mean, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't look that much when it's all neatly folded up. And thank you for ironing all of that, by the way. Oh, yeah, no, we've got a refold. Uh, 
Uh, that is 55.95. You can imagine the state of my air in cupboard, can't you? <laughs> Apparently you meant to iron bed sheets or something. <laughs> state of that <laughs> it's like putting things back in the packet i can't do that either amazing i uh, know a lot of you checking out the book check it out um what page is it on loose oh hang on i rather like that one too 38 uh, 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 15 projects, but this is the one that we're going for today. Stars at night are big and bright. Uh, so th this book gives you other ideas for other rulers. We've given you a ruler that quite frankly makes it easier. Yeah, we like that. Um, but do take a look because it's got some lovely ideas and designs in there. Beautiful. Ooh, beautiful. So there we go. That's the book today, £10.95. pence. So we've got your modern, which is your confetti, and then we've got the more traditional, festive. This can, this can be in your house all year round, but if you are making for Christmas, yeah, maybe a little bit of gold thread or something. Again, three metres of the vanilla linear, and then you've got a metre of your red and a metre of your green. It's the most popular one, 53.45 DZGC99. Please check out your baskets. If you've got that in your basket, do not miss out. Do not miss out. And uh, make sure you've got your pinking shears from your web-only offer. Hurrah! How are we doing, Luce? Oh, oh hello. Right. I'm just going to iron that one quickly. Oh, was that the one that was... Um... I'm going to make this a button cover. Oh, are you? I am. We'll get you. Shortly. Oh, oh. So I've just been marking some more. So I went ahead and corrected that um, seam. So that's uh, those two sewn together. So just to show you that that then comes apart. Right. Can you see that there? So yeah. you've got, you, you haven't started your seam from the very edge of the fabric. Okay. And it creates like that. It's just got a little gap there. So we've started quarter inch down. Okay. So that means that when we come to sew this one on, we'll be able to nice. manoeuvre it um, more All easily. All I have in my ear is producer Paul saying, why? <laughs> why? Why? Well, that's annoying. It's like being at home <laughs> with a three-year-old. So why? <laughs> what you want to do then is you want to line up that dot on, on that seam. Right, okay, okay, so having it marked, that's the crucial key point yes. right now. So having it marked, so make sure that's where that, that seam is sort of, you know, going to open. And then you can pop a pin in there. And then what you want to do is sew down. Do you start from that centre point? No. You start oh, you're from this start edge. From the, yeah, the so you start from bit. the edge and sew Ooh. down and stop. Yeah on that point on the line so if your stitch is going to be too long or too short you might want to um hand crank okay. to make sure that the needle's going down would you sometimes there. shorten your stitch to make sure that you get right i mean the, the, the when you set this on a quarter of an inch anyway it's a 1.8 is the stitch does it, length does so it affect does it yeah it changes oh, the stitch length because it knows that, that you're machine. quilting it knows you're piecing so it changed it down to a 1.8. If you don't have a super duper whizzy whizzy uh, machine, just shorten your stitch a little bit. Yeah, you could shorten your stitch, yeah. definitely. I mean, you should when you're piecing anyway, you want to use a shorter stitch. Okay, so. all right. Um, I'm really sorry, Amy. She, she's having to refold that three oh. metres of fabric. And uh, yeah, it's a lot bigger than both of us. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So you want to do a back stitch. Um, at the end there as well. Well, when you get to this, when you get to the pivotal point. No, at the oh, when at you start. You know, start. when you start, yeah. And then you just want. I'm going to lift my foot because it's going to go over the fabric, and I'm just going up to. I'm just going slowly. Oh. One more. Yeah, go. bullseye. So you've That's got. That's quite you, satisfying. Yes, if you've got a needle down function on your machine, you want to keep it. Down. down um, and you want to keep your, if you don't, just keep your needle down. Okay. And then you're going to lift your foot. Yeah. You're going to turn the fabric. So you're turning both of them so that the edges align. Okay. okay. There. And then what you want to make sure is that you move this, um, this piece here, the green piece, out of the way. Yeah, I'd be sewing And check that it in. with your finger to make sure that you're not sewing it in yeah so yeah, yeah. you can just give it a little pull be gentle though because you've got bias edges but just give that a little pull and then line up your edges there 
and just keep sewing. So I, I do like to do a back stitch here. It doesn't matter if I go past the point because it's just going to end up in the seam. But that's just going to secure that. Um, it's a point of tension, isn't it? Yes. And then obviously, because I've not picked, you can't pin this no. before you're going. So you can just readjust that and pin if you feel more comfortable or just hold on to the edge. Go but slow. Don't, yeah, go slowly. Don't pull because you've got bias edges. Right. So you don't want to be pulling it out of shape. So I just, I just tend to um, just keep my finger there on that yeah. point until we get down to the end. It does like to sort of do its own thing sometimes, so just keep your fingers... Obviously, watch your fingers, but... Yeah, don't sew your fingers. No, don't sew your fingers, and then just little back stitch at the end. <laughs> we had, when at the Great British Sewing Bee, we had uh, the youngest ever contestant do a demo on, on the Sewing Quarter demo live theatre. Yeah. And uh, she said, oh, she said, I was always told... She was only 17 when she applied for the Great British Sewing Bee. She said, I was always told you're not a sewer until you've sewn through your finger. Oh, she said, nice. I can happily say, I'm not a sewer yet. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no, me neither. That sounds horrible. Don't no, do that. I don't do don't that. Don't do it there either. either. No. So then once you've done that, you want to um, hey, give it a press. It there ends it is. up creased there because you've um, yeah. pulled that out of the way. So just give it a press, whichever way is going to I have caught that a bit in there, but whichever way is going to rest, you know, yeah. um look better. Or whichever way nice. is natural. I like to go towards the star. Um, because it I'm just let you raises that, that up. <laughs> so if it does look all, you know, if it looks a mess and it's all creased, don't worry, because once you've pressed it, it sort of presses out. Now, um, the batting that we have re re recommended for this today is your Heirloom Premium Cotton Batting. This is an 80-20 batting, 80% cotton, 20% polyester, so it will wash, wash lovely. If you want to get rid of that, and there is going to be a little bit of shrinkage with this, as with anything cotton. Um, if you want to get rid of that, wash it before you start. Nine ninety-five. Uh, now, this is crib size, so that's forty-five inches by six inches. That's still big, isn't it? Yeah. Really big. Yes. There's a slight needle punch on there. We talked about needle punching, mm -hmm. didn't we, yesterday? Uh, just to give it a little bit of grip there. Um, but generally, cotton, eighty percent cotton. And the nice thing about this is that you can quilt it up to four inches apart. There you go. That's my information for you on that. <laughs> Someone did their homework this morning. So I'm going to uh, keep going yep. and make another one. Nice. So I'm just doing the same thing. I've just marked a dot on um, this one. So putting those right sides together and I'm starting from there. that dot. That just makes it so much easier. I so don't much know easier. why we're so scared of Y seams if it's... Is it just because you've got to get that material scooped up and out of the way? Yeah, I think it's just, you know, it just takes a little bit of practice. You have to do it a few times. Yeah. But it, it's like a dot to dot, yeah. really. I guess so. the thing is, if you don't have a creative grid and you've struggled to actually cut the triangles in the first place, the yes. last thing you want to do is have to have a few practices. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, well, that took me that took me an age. Yeah. I don't want to do that. But with creative grids, I mean, you did that so quickly, yeah, so quickly, that actually, even if you did just have a spare three-inch uh, three strip and you just cut it up and just practice with those, yeah. it's not the end of the world, is no, it? That's a, that's a scrap challenge. I pressed this seam open as well when I've sewn these two triangles okay. together. So reducing the bulk. Uh, just to help reduce the bulk, exactly. Good job. I'm go. enjoying this. And then just... I would say definitely again. adventurous beginner. Adventurous beginner. Yeah. yeah. If you can sew in a straight line, yes, and you know how to use your needle down, yeah. give it a go. That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's there's, you know, it's not anything to be to be afraid of. It's one of those things that once you're shown it. I was thinking this the other yes. day. I was thinking, why am I so fearful of patterns and things like that? Mm. It's because um, I'm a little bit dyslexic. So for me, following mm -hmm. patterns. I'd rather be shown it. As soon as I'm yes. shown it, yeah, I can do yeah. it. Uh, but if I'm left to kind of decipher patterns, especially if it's not written in terminology that I'm familiar I with... I think that's just what I was going to say. For a lot of people, you know, that there is a lot of language and, you know, we use to, you know, say, oh, here's a Y seam. And people go, well, uh -huh. well what's, what's that? Yeah. You know, but I think this, to me, Y seams and zips are the two things that I encounter people saying that they don't you know, want to do or don't know how to do or are scared of. Yes, um, absolutely. I was, I was zip. 
Yes, yeah. both of which are actually really quite simple. Yeah. It's just, it's just, yeah, seeing somebody do it or, you know, being shown how to do it. And once, once you've, once you've got mastered it, it yeah, it's, it's quite straightforward. So I'm just pulling that from underneath. Just use my finger to make sure that's tucked out of the way. Now, depending on, I mean, this is what we were saying, and producer Paul's just reiterating it. He's like, it doesn't have to be a bed runner. I love, I love that, no. that colourway down there. Could you imagine that? Would um, Lois or Joan, your, your girls, yes. would they love that in they their would. bedroom? Yeah, they would absolutely Bright, love colourful. that. colourful. It's another way to inject a little bit of colour, isn't it? Exactly. Um, and then with the Christmas fabric, you can have that out from, well, we're doing Christmas now, aren't we? Yeah, you can get Get it out now. Because it's not, I mean, it's not like you've got holly leaves or anything like that. It's just no. that they're Christmassy colours. But I think that if you have, um, I, I always hark back to sort of a, that classic brown leather sort of type sofa, then this will go yeah, in beautiful. all year round because it's that cosy, that cosy kind of, it's just going to go with those colours, isn't it? Absolutely. But if this is what you're going to do for Christmas, what a beautiful way of decorating your Christmas table. I have an entire mm. cupboard that's dedicated to Christmas. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's impressive. I have a box that lives in the attic most of the time. <laughs> that's it. Well, it's only because we don't have a we don't have a real tree every year, so most of that is taken up by tree ah. in various branchy forms. Yeah, we we do get a real tree. Yeah. I love that smell. Can't beat that smell. It's the hoovering. It's the best. Oh, I don't mind. But I have a tree skirt. I made a tree skirt. Bolted oh, tree skirt. Nice. So you just lay that, and then you just sort of scoop, tip it out. Yeah, makes it much easier. Okay, don't go near All the right. hoover. Um, oh, <laughs> hang on. Could this be done as a tree skirt? Yes. You could, you could... You, if you did it, like, in you, a circle? Yeah. Because you'd would, have a... Could you fit one of those in? Would they...? I would keep going, so I would make, you know, one, two, put one this... So, yeah. connect it, put it this side, and keep going round, and then you've got a hole in the middle. For your tree? So, you keep connecting them, yeah, for your tree. So, you leave one unsewn bind all the way around it yes. and, and you put ties on it and then Whoops. you just where it connects you just tie a ribbon yeah. tree skirt table Probably runner beautiful what a great idea Lucy yeah. you're a genius oh I'm the wrong side <laughs> sorry I'm like naturally <laughs> like that <laughs> I, I was getting worried there because I had to sew something <laughs> so right. you you keep going and you're making yeah. um, lots of those and then you want to do it in halves so you make one more you put three together another three together and then you've just got um, a straight line a straight line do i have to cut off my dog ears um yes, yes i would do i mean you don't those ones you can trim off at the end to okay, be honest right, you don't yeah. need to worry about it too much and um it is it can be helpful to leave them on mm. you know to match it up so i can see there that those dog ears are overlapping so I know that it's in the right place, but then it's easier to see your seam. So it's give or take, it's up to you. Really, Whichever you do or not. fits better yes. with you. You can cut the bulk down at the end. You can trim those ones off at the end. Um, but I did want to mention, when you're um, sewing the two halves together, you want your points to meet in the middle. Right. Now, with this pattern, it doesn't really matter because we're going to cover it up with a button. Yes. So you don't need to worry about yes. it. However... You know, I still like my points to match up. So I've just got a couple just of... Just in case anyone rummages around underneath your buttons. There you go, because well, you never know. So I've just <laughs> got um, a couple of different <laughs> techniques to, okay. um, to talk about how to do that. So that would be your half. Yes. And you would do the same again, and then you're going to put them together. It's amazing how you get a great dimension with yes, this, isn't you it? Yes, do. It's, it's really lovely. lovely. And that's the having the, um, you know two different colours going all the way around. So when you're coming to sew the two halves together, one tip is to start in the middle and go out mm -hmm. and then go back to the middle and yes, go out. Yes. So you're sewing like two yes. halves of the seam. Um, so you know that your needles are in the centre. Um, another tip would be to pin it and then just do a basting stitch and then you can open it out and see uh, if it's right, you okay. know, so yes, you've not yes, sewn yes. your seam before you've done it. So you could just do that to check. And then finally, you can use my trusted friend. Oh, the glue stick. Hello, glue stick. And you can just um, dab a little bit of glue, it, particularly in the centre. Yeah. And then along your seams so that when you've 
you know, when you attach your other part, it's, it holds it. Holds it. it. So but as it's, you're it's sewing, it's not shifting. Hold. It's a temporary hold and it will wash out. Nice. But that's a great tip for when you want to keep something in place, especially if you've got a bulky seam, the glue works more efficiently than a needle, in my opinion. Brennan's top tip. Yeah, and it's also, I also do the same thing. You can use it for basting zips in place. Nice. So rather than pinning zips, which can sometimes be a bit yeah. fiddly, yeah. Um, you can you can glue base those as well. Five ninety five for your sew line fabric glue pen. We thought that well, this was designed originally just for your English paper piecing for yeah. basting your English paper piecing, mm -hmm. but has so many more functions. Every sewing kit should have one in. Five ninety five. It was amazing going around festival of course, the number of people that hadn't seen the glue stick before, and then mm -hmm. like, oh, where's that been all my life? I know it is a myth. It, it makes in things so much so much fabric. easier, quicker, and it just washes out. You just don't use a lot is my top tip for the glue. Now, Sarah in Cambridgeshire is making the most of our web-only offer of spend £20, use the code FREE1 and get your free pair of pinking shears. Mm -hmm. And she says, having a wonderful time rummaging around the website. Oh, I do like a good rummage. Um, even found a Christmas present. Oh, fantastic. Exactly. Well done. Good for you. Oh, another message. Rachel says, morning, Natasha and Lucy. Mum and I are enjoying watching this morning. There is a sneaky way... Uh, to do a block without Y seams, cutting the triangle in half. Rachel, you are correct. Yeah, there is that. But then you have to think of seam allowances. Yeah, I wonder if that's Rachel the ruler. Because Rachel clever, cleverly, it might not be, whoever it is. Hello, Rachel. Is that, is that creative? Is that, is that Rachel the ruler? With the... No, I don't know. Don't I know. just was saying that. Message back and let's find out. With this ruler, and um, it does say in the instructions, you don't um, have to do... Uh, the Y seam, you do a half, you do half triangle. So if you imagine this cut in half, yes. sewn to this section, this half to this section, and then, and you, then, then you put the two line. halves together. Yes. I did it this method because that's the pattern. Yes. So I'm following the pattern. But there is that other way. But there is that other way, which so is much if... easier. I have demonstrated that before. Yeah, um, I mean, this is on it. On another show. We have, we have done that before, like you say. There is that easier way if why ske schemes, why seems yes. worry you in any way. Um, but it's fair to only show, like, the next, the next yes. progression. Yeah, but that if people don't want to do the Y seam, it's, you've got the markings on the ruler to be able to cut yeah. that half. And you've got half triangle. You've got the the seam allowance in there as well. Because don't yes. forget, you're going to have to do a, a triangle with a seam allowance. Instructions. Yeah, it's all in, in, in there. with that. Yeah. Um, more than half of the stock of the creative grids have gone already. Crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy morning. Grab your book. Check out your basket for that. Uh, now buttons. I'm going to do the button. Yes, <laughs> it's so fun. So those those. Um, those end bits that we cut off, don't throw them away because you can use them either for using yeah, that's what I'm doing, buttons. just using one of the off-cut bits to make now, the button. These are cover buttons. They're super shiny if you want to just use them as they are, but they are really designed I to cover. Think about that. You could, yeah, I suppose, I quite if like it was Christmassy, it'd be quite nice, wouldn't yeah. it? A bit of silver. Yeah. So these are two ninety-five for five. So if you're going to do the full seven, grab two packets, and then you have some left over. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So they come. Um, it is Rachel the ruler. Oh, Morning, Rachel the Rachel. ruler. I think it's John called her Rachel the ruler. I know. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Rachel. <laughs> I've never even met her. That's awful, isn't it? That's Rachel John. Cross, I'm so designer sorry. Designer of said ruler. Fabulous, Rachel. Well, Cross. it's lovely that you're watching. Best behaviour. Designers watching. I know. Well, I always say I love them because I really oh, genuinely do. do. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I I can honestly say now I don't have any other quilting rulers. No. Start as you need to go on. No. Creative grids all the way. They're fantastic. Mm. So with, with the button, when it um, comes, it's got a little plasticky um, thing on, which initially is a little bit tricky to see. You might be pulling at the button, wondering why it won't come off. And then you go, oh, silly it's me. It's like you've watched it's me got... in my craft room. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got a little plastic tag like you'd get on your clothes silly or something. Me. So you just need to cut that off. And then so that little plastic tag, like an H. Um, so you just trim that off with your scissors and then it very easily comes off the cardboard. Honestly. I love that we both struggled, so needed to point that out. But it's just the simplest thing sometimes, isn't it? You think, what am I thinking <laughs> I about? I get it out the packet. Um, so then you could probably, you know, be very clever and measure out that, but I just cut round the, you know. Do it. So you just need more... You don't want to cut a circle that's the size of the button. You need extra fabric to tuck in. 
Do you have to cut um, a circle or are you just around the side? cutting? I mean, I prefer to cut a circle because you don't want to have big sort of jaggy, um, you know, bits along the edge. Do you trim it down afterwards? Or so you can do, do. yeah, you can. It's just easier to just, you know, if right you're cutting, you might as well just, yeah, get it right. <laughs> get it right, <laughs> Natasha. <laughs> get it right. Um, I don't know if we have ever bought self-cover buttons to wear before. Not on my watch. I haven't done it before. Just Paul it. has, but I haven't. Just tricky, Must tricky. Have been there we go. So um, you don't want a huge amount, but then you don't want too little that you can't fold it over because yeah, the premise now is that you fold that. You're just tucking it round uh, onto the inside, and it's got like little grips. Oh, okay. Can you see, like yeah. a bottle cap? Okay. Okay. And so you're sort of tucking it into that. You want to create as few folds as you can because right. they are seen when you're um, doing it. So just tuck it in with your thumb and push it underneath those um, little grippy bits. Right. Controversial. Yes. But could you use your glue stick to help in this scenario? I, I wouldn't. It's, it wouldn't, Would it's it not going to stick to the metal or anything. It would be too messy. It's just, desa it's just, just would designed stick for fabric. to paper and fabric, yeah. But it's only temporary. I mean, you could give it a go, or, you know, might work. Who knows? Oh, it grips really well, actually. It does, it? it grips really well. But then what I like to do is just run my thumb, you know, over the edge to try yeah. and get rid of any creases that have been created by the folds so that on the front it's nice and neat oh, and the no. edges. Woo! Oh. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. And then just, you know, running my thumb around, trying to get rid of as yeah. much of the, of the tucks and the folds as now, possible. Well, can I just... I need to draw your attention to the buttons over here that Lucy has fussy cut. I don't know if we... Yeah. <laughs> it's always going to be the wrong way. Dance. It's always back to front. It's there, back to look front. at that. So that's from, like, that bit, all fussy cut. Which works beautifully. Looks fab, doesn't it? I should it? have done that with this, really, to get a flower on, shouldn't I? But that's quite nice no, with I like, the movement of I that. I like that. And then um, you're going to attach the back, which okay. just pops into place. So you just put that on. We're doing it the right way. Yay! That's quite just a like satisfying that. Clock, Yes, isn't and it? I have to say, the first time I was doing it the wrong way. Oh, were you? It doesn't work. No. So if it doesn't pop in very, you know, with a bit of pressure, if, if you don't hear that pop, you've got it up, the wrong way. upside down. Mm. Yeah, so you should be able to read the letters. Oh, okay. That would, that would. Yay, excellent. And, and one button, button ready to go. Button. So then that, you just are going to put that in the centre of your star and that's it. Excellent. So I did it, um, you know, through all the layers. So it was like, quilting because I only quilted sort of around the edge really yes. I'd have not quilted in the middle so it's almost like as if you're tying the quilt just giving it an, an extra little bit Lovely. of, of uh, quilting it there. is that extra thing I would love this now as a tree skirt you've convinced me it's yeah, what I need beautiful. in my life and you might if you if it was going to be a table runner yeah this is just in my opinion I might not put a button in the very central part of okay, the runner right because i might want something to be a feature that you know like if you've yeah. got a nice candle or a, a big pot oh, nice. that you put on the table or a, some sort of a display it would wobble on a button you can't put it on a button so if you wanted something in the center i might not put a button there but then obviously you've got lots of space to put things on yes. the rest of the runner yes. but visually it's nice to have something positioned on the center isn't but it but if you're so. doing it as a wall hanging if you're doing yes. it, I, it i just think it's then lovely. use all the buttons <laughs> all the buttons we've got all the buttons but it's so easy to you like i was really surprised because i've used self-covered uh you know fabric yes. covered buttons before and um you need a tool or it's quite tricky to put the backs in you know other oh, brands no. that i've that i've tried I've found very difficult and not got such a nice, neat result. So, so that little this, pop is very, very as easy. As long as you get do. it around the right way. Yes, yeah, so as long as you days. get it around the right way and you've managed to get it out of the packaging. Now, let's talk rulers again, very quickly. Um, Creative Grids has been what has made this the difference between, oh, don't want to do it, can't yeah. do it. And that you can do it so quickly, you know, cut out so many pieces so quickly. I'd only layered two. If I was doing it at home, I'd probably layer four. Well, you did 12 um, because you laid two strips yeah. together. So 12 and you need 48 for the entire thing. Yeah. So that's only doing that another three so times, which four, is amazing. Was it four or five cuts I made? Yeah. And I'd have 
20, I'd have 24 triangles if Amazing. I stuck to my fabric. Amazing. We are running low there on this. This is what always happens. Um, so Rachel Cross is watching. Morning, Rachel, with her mum. Now, I mean, it is worth saying, uh, Creative Grids is a UK-based company. They're based out of Leicester. That's why you've always got the fox on there. That's the sign of... You've got bees because you're... Yes. Your Mancunian, oh, yeah. um, but the fox, the fox is the Leicestershire sign, so you'll get that yeah. on every Creative Grids. It is a UK family-run company, hence Rachel and I'm watching today. Good morning to you. These that you can see that it's sat on is an embedded non-slip grip, which is what makes a difference yeah, with Creative huge, Grids. Yeah, huge difference. And that's why I only have these, because, as you know, for people who've watched the channel from the beginning, I was terrified of using a rotary cutter yes. because the rulers I'd used slipped around yeah. all over the place. It happens to a lot of people. Yeah. And I, had to, I was doing a beginner's class the other day and there was a lady and she had a ruler that didn't have the grip on. Yeah. Ended up buying a Creative Grids ruler but because... But it's bad enough. When you've tried it, and, you, you know, if you've tried it without the grip, it is really difficult. Firstly, it's and dangerous. dangerous. It is Secondly, dangerous. it wastes your fabric. I don't know which order you you know you want to prioritise <laughs> yeah. those in. Uh, let's go first. safety first, <laughs> slash fabric. Um, but then you don't want to. So you don't want to waste your money. You don't want to waste your fabric. You don't want to you know chop off a finger. So I would always go this. And also, you know, it's bad enough just in a straight line. But here you're going off at angles, which yeah. is again something else. Mm -hmm. Always oh, just and the, ac this. the accuracy. You know, for the accuracy as a quilter to be able to know, you know, to have all those measurements so clearly marked, really just so easy to use, and to be able to um, make sure that all my pieces are going to be exactly the same because I've, because I've got that accuracy um, of the rules. Professional kit for a professional finish. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what we're looking at for twenty four ninety five, um, And that gives you some ideas down there. And then, yeah, that gives you an idea of the quilt. Now, um, we've got three of the finished block, well, I say finished block, completed yes. um, stars there. The fabric that you're getting will make you seven. That's a lot. Um, and as we showed earlier with Amy, that three metres, that's just if you're backing and you're huge. Let me show you those. You're going to be back. I am. In an hour. I am doing a pretty block. It's really pretty. It is very it's pretty. It's a butterfly block yeah. in a spot of cave. So we'll see you for that in an hour. Thank yes. you so Thanks, much. Natasha. Um <laughs> That's mm. my, that one's mine. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> she gets very protective of her creative grids. Uh, now, uh, yes, some of you rummaging away on the website. Well done. Website only promotion today. If you're spending twenty pounds or more just on web purchases, not. Um, not TV purchases, then you can grab yourself a free pair of pinking shears whilst stocks last. It's running for 48 hours starting today, but it is while stocks last. Uh, use the code FREE1. Lots of you getting the book. Now, this is Quilts with Rulers. What we've done is we've found a ruler that we felt made it easier. So we've used a different ruler, but there's all sorts of different rulers that you can use. So if you are very much in love with your rulers, that's the one that we've done today. Beautiful. Step-by-step -step instructions, good to go. But there's lots of different options in there. So it might be that you're like Geraldine and um, Karen, who have a wealth of creative grids. Those two make me laugh. They really do. Um, in which case, you're going to find other things that you can do. Oh, have a good look. Uh, some beautiful inspiration in there. £10.95, but all very achievable because you're getting the tools for the job. PMSP98. Don't forget, when you get your creative grids, check out your baskets. Don't throw the instructions that come with it away either because it's a, a wealth of information on there as well. Now, your confetti fabric. Five whole metres. Um, Amy's done a cracking job on folding that back up again. Well done. Uh, uh, far better than I can manage at this time in the morning. A metre of your, uh, your darker one and a metre of your lighter one. That's Lucy's favourite. That's my favourite. And then the beautiful linear peacock in the background. Three metres of that. Beautiful. Um, a metre, a metre. That's your five metres in total. 55.95. Now, the most popular colourway. I think you're all getting a bit festive already. Good on you. Why not? Gives you the time to actually make it, doesn't it? Uh, it's this one. Here it is. So, five metres again, three metres of your vanilla linear. I can't say that quickly. And then a metre of your red holly and a metre of your green. 53.45. And now you can make yourself a festive star runner. 
What are you going to, okay, are you going to do table runner? Are you going to do bed runner? Are you going to do wall hanging? Or are you going to do tree skirt? Let me know. 5345DZGC99. So grab your book, grab your creative grids, get your button cover things as well. This is the one. This is what has made life so easy. Now, I wanted to show you very, very quickly because this is very, very low in stock. So I cannot guarantee your order if it's just in your basket. You need to check out now, please. That's all I can say. It's not, you know, it's only because I don't want you to be upset if you miss out on it. Um, we haven't had this since March. OK, so it's taken us a long time to get this one back in stock. Um, so do make sure that you check out your baskets for this. Super easy to use, super safe to use too. Really important. You can hang them up. Please store these properly and then they will last your lifetime. $24.95 there, UDGQ73. Now, coming up after the break, I know you love a good gadget. And quite frankly, whenever we see this lady, you know we have good gadgets, ahoy. It's Irene coming up after the break. Not just one fabulous gadget, oh, no, 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 but three, two of which you've never seen before. Well, not here. And they're really rather wonderful. Not just for the sewing room either. Hmm, I'll leave you to ponder that and I'll see you after this quick break. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing work we create and love. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. The Sewing Quarter website is simple and easy to use. You can view a live broadcast of the show on our homepage. Get instant access to our online shop, which has a wide range of wonderful products for you to choose from. You can also enjoy a selection of projects and guides, which we have on offer to help you enhance your skills and gain valuable tips. Watch the live shows and you can buy the product which is currently being shown on air. You can even message the studio to ask our presenters or team any questions you might have. Below, you'll find all the products from today's show for you to look at and purchase. On the right of the screen, next to today's products, you will find our simple programme guide listing all upcoming shows. So, join us today at sewingquarter.com. When you spend £10 on your first purchase, you will receive this free sewing kit from the Sewing Quarter worth £14.99. Join us on Wednesday the 4th of October as we give new guest designer Jenny Smith a very warm welcome to our team. Jenny's sewing skills know no bounds. She's a talented quilter, dressmaker, pattern designer and teacher and her home decor is second to none. For her debut show she will be creating a hothouse flower cushion and a beautiful sweet bouquet quilt. Join us in welcoming Jenny to the channel for two hours of expert advice and lots of fun. That's Wednesday, the 4th of October at 9am and 11am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. to Sewing Quarter. I'm Natasha McCarthy, joined by the very fabulous Irene. Hello. <laughs> now, Irene, when we have you on the show, we know we're in for a treat because you are very, very well known, excuse me for reaching, for this little gadget. Uh, you'd look at it and think, 
hmm, do I need that in my life? Uh, yeah, <laughs> anybody that's seen this, this is your automatic needle threader. It's sold out time and time again. Uh, we've got it back on the show for you today. You will show us how to use that, but... <sighs> oh, I dropped my keys. Can't be bothered to bend down. Mm, I'm, I'm not gonna spoil all of it. We have got for you a telescopic magnetic retrieval pen. Love, love, love this. You need it in your life. And the bowl, the magnetic bowl. Yes, isn't that fab? Um, five P's not included, obviously. Doesn't have to be five P's. Could just be, you know, does your husband have a, um, like a man drawer where just batteries and nails Mess, and bolts yeah. and stuff just get thrown in. Yeah. Tidy it up. Pins, needles, everything. Now, this. Oh, Irene, this. Oh. How like did you it. find I love it. How did you find it? Ah, secret. Can't secret. remember to be <laughs> so many, <laughs> many, many years. I've, I've sold that at exhibitions. So this is your yeah. magnetic pickup tool. It is. Perfect when you cannot bend, can't reach. Especially in inaccessible places. Um, my cat, HP, likes to sit on my radiator and knock everything just down the back of the radiator, which means that now, 65 centimetres, I plus my arm, means I can actually reach yep. it. It's easier than getting rid of the cat. That's and less point. heartbreaking, <laughs> to be honest. Very good. But this is excellent. Show us what it can do. Well, as you've just shown, it's retractable. So yes. I, I, That's just so it. handy, isn't it? And it is really very, very strong. We used to sell a much thinner one that tended to break, but this is super duper. And well, it picks up, should you drop needles, pins, screwdrivers, anything metal. Look at that. Done. Yeah. Done. Show, oh, show, oh, us show us again, show us again, show us again. Pop those needles down there, because this is the thing, you drop something, you you know, maybe you're in the middle of something, you don't, maybe, whoa, Sorry, look at those. Put too many maybe, but there we are. Wow, too many would be that it, it doesn't do it them. It all in one go, but it yeah. certainly got them. Look yeah. at that, this will support up to a kilo. That's a bag of sugar. Three, Wait, three kilos, man. Three kilos? Eight pounds. Eight pounds. It's three kilos. Didn't we try with your heavy super duper scissors? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I've got to show you this. You'll, no you'll notice that these are our paper scissors. Um, ah, drop them. Oh, I could have done with this when I was pregnant. If only you did <laughs> one that did up it. shoelaces as well. Um, yes! Hello! 65 centimetres. Look at that. That is fabulous. Yeah. And then, as my son would tell me, walk with it down like that. Safety. Safety first. Love this. I've dropped it on the floor. Where is it? Where is it? It's got a good reach, actually. Way! Love this. What a fabulous present. If you've dropped your keys down, um, yeah. you know, down a drain or something, I'd keep this in the car for all those times that I drop things. Can I... Can I... I dare you. <laughs> Irene comes like a jailer with like the biggest bunch of keys you've ever seen in your entire life. I was like, no way is it going to pick that up. Check that easy, easy peasy. That's brilliant. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is good. It's, it's very practical. This is absolutely brilliant. You know when you um you drop your earrings and you can't quite reach them down there. the back of the sofa. You don't want to move your sofa. It's fine because, da, da, da. now it's got to be metal that can be magnetised, obviously. It just show, goes to show I'm not, you know, I don't have like real silver earrings or anything, but that <laughs> is brilliant. That is brilliant. So pins, needles, all those sorts of things. And screws and nuts and bolts and anything metal. So mechanics were, you know, if, you're, much so. if your hubby loves, um, you know, tinkering with cars and he drops something down in the mm -hmm. engine, you can get in, get it. And then just <laughs> pop it in with your... I've, we've Listen. got a little uh, mug on the side in the kitchen with pens in. In? I size of a pen. In there, yeah, you're right. Pop it in your pocket. But actually, it's got like a pen, so you could just... Pop it on your yep. pocket. 
for? In your handbag, of course. In your handbag. Then you'd know Must where everything was. Or you could just waft it around the top of your handbag when you can't find your keys. <laughs> I love this. That is brilliant. Coming in again. Dun, dun. <laughs> Yay! It's got him. Yes. I love that. Look at that. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Under, under a fiver? Awesome. Oh, hang on. I dropped one on the floor. Got it. It's brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. I don't have to tell you this. It's yours. You, you know. <laughs> but we've had so much fun with this this morning. So much fun. Um, so this is your telescopic magnetic retrieval pen. Everyone should have one, shouldn't they? At least one. At least one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> At least one. Hey, look, it's 4 95 so it's really affordable. Um, do you do stocking fillers? Stocking filler. One of those really yep. handy gadgets. Every household should have one. And every household should have at least one of these. Let's talk magnetic bowl. Shall we? Yes. Very strong magnet on the base. And that's, that's what actually attracts the metal. OK. So I use it for... Like we just said, the aforementioned screws, nuts, bolts, paper clips. <gasps> yes. Paper clips. And um, invariably, I'm looking for safety pins, so I'll keep another one with just with safety pins. Oh, I've, I've got them all over the place, of course. So everything. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to show you very quickly. Um, this is one of those things that in... I'm going to pop it up here. Everyone that comes in here gets a trolley to put their bits and bobs in. As we do, yeah. We yeah, do. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so many people have said, oh, I've got one of those. It's from a certain blue and yellow store. But here's the thing. Brilliant. Forward thinking. Um, earrings. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Hang on, let me spin this. Oh, go on. So great yeah, for a mechanic, makes... stick oh, it on the... Yeah, no, so you can keep your nuts mechanics. and bolts. Yeah. Yes! Look at that! You're going to risk the needles? His and hers. <laughs> nuts, bolts, pins, earrings. Of course. Under, under a fiver? Yes. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I could play with this all day. Absolutely brilliant. Um, but for keeping your spare change in? Yeah. Not pound coins, though, I have to say. Just anything with ferrometal in there. So um, two piece, anything. one piece. So you're, oh, small, you're little change. Small change. And the five piece now. God, but that's the them. annoying stuff, isn't it? Yeah. That you just, you, you know, you don't necessarily keep in your wallet because it's bulky. That's right. I just, you know, throw it in there. And I use it at work when I'm at the exhibitions. I keep my change in there. A, just a brilliant. I mean, just brilliant. So you can pop that onto a magnetic base because that whole base is magnetised. I love this. It's just brilliant. Now, what I want to see... What? Blimey. Um, is... Let me take my earrings out of there. Will this help pick up, though, as well? Yes. Either way, but you could use the base, which is the strongest. But go ahead and not use it that way. I usually use the base, but sure. Give well. both ways a go. Of course. Aren't you clever? It's not really used for that, but you know you can. Yeah, of course. So you you use the base. You reckon the base is well only if I drop an odd screw and Ooh, I can't find it. Wow! My, yeah. Did we see that? So this is again. It's having these things in your workroom. But it is, it's really a bowl for storage. So, and the nice thing about this is you can just sort of, it just attracts them so well. It just, look at that. Ooh, just wants them, doesn't it? It just really, really wants them. Thank and so then you can, oh, this is the way to do it, isn't it? Just have it there. Let me take that thread out. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. How long have you had these? About 15 years, I guess. But I sell them only at exhibitions normally. But something like this stands the test of time, doesn't it? Because it's brilliant. Yeah, of course it is. And it's so durable. There's nothing to break, nothing mechanical to break down on no, it. That's so the it, thing. You have it forever, yeah. So I would have maybe one in my car for loose change. Stop it rattling around everywhere. So, you know, when you need those five pieces for your parking, you've got it. Um, 
One from my pins, one from my needles. Spare change, gadgety, gizmoy bits. Look at this, they are so strong. It's really strong. And, but actually, they're nice to look at too, aren't they? Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> they're beautiful. <laughs> no, but they are. They're, well, they're functional, but they're attractive, I suppose. But that helps, doesn't yeah. it? You know, practical, functional, but still pleasant to look at. Love that. Perfect. Now, they're the new things that we have for you. Please check out your baskets for those. Lots of you going crazy for those. <laughs> I do love this. Look at that. Look at that. Weighty metal scissors. Done. Love it. Uh, now, of course, Irene, what people will know you for is your needle threader. Over to you. Thank you. So, there it is. A needle threader. Incidentally, it comes at, as you, when you take it home or get it home, it comes in a little box like that. And the instru full instructions folded inside. Which we ironed this morning. Oh, we, we ironed it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> really Tried good. steaming it. That wasn't such a great way, but yeah, you can get it out and iron it. So full instructions. But of course, you're not going to need those if you uh, listen to Irene now. Yeah, it just takes a second. I do encourage people to use it on its little base because that gives weight, uh, makes uh, the thread hang better, is what I'm trying to say. So one side for smaller needles, or mm -hmm. most needles, in fact. And the other side has a, a lower, lower down metal bar, naturally for thicker ones. So black for big. Black for big and white for wee. I can remember that. OK. So piece of thread. And we lie that. There's a tiny groove into which we lie the thread. Yeah. And then we take a needle and not knowing into which direction we, we put it. OK. Because obviously most of us can't see the needle. You drop it in. Well, that's the whole reason you have a needle threader, isn't <laughs> exactly. it? When you get to that stage where actually it's tricky. Yeah, yeah, precisely. And then as we slide that bar across, you, I don't know if you notice the needle moving. It's turning the needle to find the eye. OK. Usually does it first time. But before we take out the needle, there's a tiny loop there mm -hmm. and we need to just pull that through. OK. And if you notice, I left one side shorter. That's so that I would have single ba, ba, thread. Ba. Yeah. Done. So one side short, a little bit quicker. Slide. Missed the thread, so I'm moving the thread, doing it again, pulling it through and taking the needle. That is brilliant. It's not every bad. time, every time Almost this impresses time. me. Yeah. Oh, I see a bigger button. I thought it meant every time it works. With, um, I mean, like that, 90% it, yeah. it is, you know. And there's a way of checking. I can show okay, you that. OK, how do we check? If that bar... Um, OK, so goes, let's... Push that bar out again before... Just to show yeah. that that's spring-loaded. That's, spring that's, that's the bar a, you're looking for. That's what's doing this job. Which we don't see while we're actually yeah. doing the task. So the, if you want to make 100% sure that the thread's gone through, and as I said, it usually does it, but there it's missing the needle look, so I'm doing it again. So if it doesn't do it, then just move the thread, the thread is there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm holding that button. Mm -hmm. And then just check that the needle's engaged, and that means that the bar has actually gone through the eye of the needle. And then release it, and then pull the loop through. I love this. But I don't do that. I tend to just hit the button and assume hit the button that it's and done. Hope. Yeah, because yeah, it usually is first time. So that's just single thread. How quick is that? Now, how small a needle? Because we ha we've had other thread ones on and firstly you have to have it so that you have to spin it so that you have to do the spinning so that the eye is the right way and it will only do oval and you know there are oh, yeah, how right you are yeah there are so many things that actually you just think oh I don't know if I have that right needle because let's face it we don't buy needles necessarily just for a needle <laughs> Freddie you you have what you have I mean I still have yeah. my grandmother's needles goodness knows what shape eyes they've yeah. got um what shape does this it need? does Oval and round, but yes. most of them are oval, and many of the needle threaders do only round. And ah. by definition, most of the eyes are, as the ladies will know, oval. OK. So, yeah. So, if we want to do a double thread? A double thread. Let's do it. Well, the obvious way, let's do it the other way first, would be to double the thread. We can do that? <laughs> yeah. And then sliding the button. And if you notice, only one loop's come through. Yeah. So you then hold the thread at the back mm -hmm. and then pulling that through 
and we have the double thread. Ah. And then you take, oh, no. oh. <laughs> oh dear, and I didn't check but it. it I mean... So do it again. Okay. Yeah. So let's check it this. I think there was a piece of fluff in there. Uh, oh, there's a yeah, lot no, of fluff. Yeah, no, there's a lot of fluff. <laughs> Nothing's getting through there. Make sure you put a clean needle. <laughs> that in. would help. Yeah. So let's check it then. It's got it. Yeah. And then pulling, oh, that, pulling the loop and taking the needle. And you've got and it. And I put then single thread. Sorry, I confused it, didn't I? So that is the way I would recommend it, is doing it equal length at either side. Yeah. Again, check, check it. Pull, and that is double thread. And that's what many of the lead ladies use for the cross stitch ah. to start to actually go through the loop. Yes, of yeah. course. Of course. But if you chose to double it, which is the way I used to do it, until a customer showed me the other way. There, you've got it. Again, you're holding that at the back and teasing that through until that comes equal. Uh, so there okay. are two ways, is what yeah. I'm trying to say. Yeah. I'm with but you. I think by halving it is easiest. That's brilliant. Yeah. Um, what about tricky things like metallic thread? Glad you mentioned that. Because we sold some beautiful metallic thread um, on, I'm going to say Wednesday. But I know that it's not always the easiest. It's thing not to easy because it, it, it's, it's very finer. jumpy, yeah, it's finer and it's, uh, you know, it's very buoyant. Now, I've, if you notice, I've doubled it there on purpose. Yeah, why? To give it a bit more weight because it's so springy. Again, it's got the needle, but has it got the thread? It just it? caught yeah. on the edge. So I'm checking it, hold it there, needle doesn't move. But it's, it is only just on the edge. That's yeah, all we there need, it is. yeah. There it is. Oh, and easy. That's the double, double or single, or does it matter? Doesn't matter, does it? Single, maybe. So we're pulling one end to make it single. That's, that's fabulous. That is absolutely yeah. fabulous. Yeah. So we did um, a table runner last hour that could be beautifully festive, and we talked about maybe adding a little bit of, of thread, yeah. but that's not going to show up that well. What if I wanted a thicker thread? The other side. OK. Yeah. Shall we show quickly the multiple threads before yes. I forget? Because so last actually, time I if we forgot. wanted to do different <laughs> colours... Then, especially for embroidery, the ladies call it blending. Ooh. Hang on, so, how, what, how many are you putting in? Well, three. <laughs> and that is the same tiny eye. So normally for embroidery, we'd use a, a longer this eye. This is, this is seriously tiddly tiny. Look at that. And you're going to get three threads through there. This is not something that I would ever actually manage just ordinarily. Yeah, it is difficult with eyesight. Okay. Normal eyesight. So drop it in straight. Is that the key? It's imperative that it's straight because if you, if you try to hold it and place it, it'll get stuck. So it's just drop it in. Okay. Yeah. And ne needless to say, the eyesight are down. Now, I usually only manage to get one or two, so let's see what comes through. I've hit it twice, and I've, how many have I got? Two? You've got all of them. You've got three. That wasn't You've in the plan. <laughs> that wasn't in the plan. Okay, so that was quite good. <laughs> You've done better than we ever imagined. <laughs> yeah, there we are. Three threads. You've got a yellow, a pink, and a gold, all threaded through that tiny eye. That ladies and gentlemen, is one of the many reasons that you need the automatic needle threader. 5 95 That is fabulous. Um, Fiona says, Morning, Irene and Natasha. Great gadgets. Needle threader and pen used all the time. Pen, great for all those dropped needles and pins. Well, it is. If you don't want to be on your hands and knees rummaging around trying to pick it up, get it. Karen, hello, Karen, says, I've had to buy one as I suffer with my ME and love handy gadgets, especially as I drop a lot all the time. Perfect for all of those. Perfect. And um, Helen says, got my um, in feeler on Friday and used it yesterday. Whoop, whoop. It's just so easy. My eyesight isn't the best. And <laughs> problem solved, says Helen in Derbyshire. Thank you very much for your messages. Keep them coming. What, oh, they've got lots of fluff. I know. This fl <laughs> oh, this off, your, um, off your board. That's where the fluff is. coming from, isn't it? change the board, it? I think. Next but it's time. even going through with fluff. Yeah. I'm just impressed. Three different threads gone through there. Now, what do you ask me for thicker? Material. Oh, I want everything. Oh, you're greedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not greedy, but I like a lot. Uh, hang on, hang on. This is a whopper. This is... Um, Look at the size of a that. A needle... Well, because the ladies usually ask me the limitations when I show the biggest needle. But it's not a terribly big eye. OK. So we're just pushing it a couple of times, and I just wanted to check it hasn't engaged the needle, so I'm going to do it again. 
Could you imagine if a doctor came at you with something that size? There, <laughs> there we've got it. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Release it, pulling it through and taking the needle. But that's a slight exaggeration, but uh, you have it. Look at the size of that. It's just ridiculous. But look, there. Yes. Um, that is not an easy item to thread. This is one of those ones. If you see the end, this is what happens with it. That is what happens. And then that's just impossible to thread. Until you have one of these. Love it. Okay, okay. now, nice big eye. Bigger eye for a thicker, I call that organza. I'm not sure what it is. I think it is. So Again, we're threading checking. ribbon as well. Ribbon's coming in a sec. Yeah, this kind of ribbon. Let's have she's ribbon. Coming. Look at that. Oh, she's going in with a different ribbon now. <laughs> but so if you um, yeah, if you want to, if you want to thread ribbon through projects or um, if you I, I like to deck. Well, if you're making your own Christmas decorations. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Yes. Or on cards. Many ladies put ribbon on cards. Can we Greeting do that cards. again? It's so true. Do you, go ahead. Oh, am I With doing we? it? <laughs> oh. Okay. How's that? Check here. We are engaged. Not, you know, like in the marital <laughs> Not way. Not yet. No. Look at that. Even thanks, please, Paul. Even you can do it, Tash. She says. Yes. Even <laughs> I can. Oh, a stop warning. The magnetic telescopic pen. Over half the stock has gone, and. Over and the other half are in the baskets. So please check out your baskets. I can't guarantee your order anymore on there. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. What's this? I'm just playing. <laughs> just play. So that's a. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Is this for fishing? What is it? It's an upholstery needle. It is an upholstery needle. Or a sail needle. Yeah. We're Hang just on. trying to Let's bring see. different needles, what? really. And we have to come to the wall. Look at that. Um, okay. Let's pop that in. Is this fluff everywhere? So pop that down in there. Do you want this. that? Do I just? Hmm. Yes. It is better to check it. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It's fluff-tastic today, isn't it? Okay. Um, right. I would you, seriously. At home, take a look at this. Is that honestly anything that you would even try? Look, look, look at the state of the end of that. That, no. Yeah, that wasn't intentional. I've got to find my sharpest scissors now to get a, a flush cut on that mm -hmm. before I can mm -hmm. even dream of doing this. True. Okay, go on, Irene. Come oh, on, Irene. <laughs> Sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> I won't sing it, it's fine. <laughs> That is some needle to get in there, but is, we it? will. Yeah. It's just because the end is curved, so in an ideal world, we need a straight eye. But, but it's not still. stopped you today. No, Look at that. You can now upholster with glittery thread. Happy days. Look at that. That is not anything that I would even think. But that means actually suddenly, if you can get that through an eye of a needle, then you can do embroidery with real standout thread. Yeah, that's true, actually. Real standout thread. Um, OK, so my problem is I've crocheted Freddy um, a rhinoceros. OK, big chunky knit. Big, big eye of a needle. Um, the arms are coming off. I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I didn't quite... I underestimated how much love this rhino <laughs> was going to get, and the arms are starting to come off. But it's a real effort to try to and do through. wool. Yeah, it is. Can this do wool? This is double Seriously. knitting. It can. We need an appropriate size needle, of course. I've got a much larger eye. But that eye is going to go in the in the big black one. Well, we hope so. <laughs> It'd be a bit awkward if it didn't. <laughs> it would be a bit Whoops. No, I'm just teasing or feeding or whatever it through. Can I just put my hand behind this? So yeah. There. Right. Yeah. And then make sure to. It's a bit tricky on the wall, so let me move it to another position. But so just keep keep on yeah, feeding and it and make through, that's sure the key. to get it as much as possible through. Look, so there we are. Yeah. 
So that and that's might, double knitting. That might not happen first time with the double knit, but it will happen. It will, yeah. Just move it. Don't keep hitting it in the same position so, to make sure that it's not going to um, separate the threads. <laughs> it's fluff. Fluff galore. This is brilliant. Everybody needs one. If you look at that. Done. Done. Oh, look, and accidentally some We've got this uh, gold threads. Some in gold. There. <laughs> Popped in there as well. Excellent. Right, invisible thread. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad you reminded me. We had forgotten. Invisible thread is it? Is it horrible to work with, and yet brilliant. It, well, it is. It's so effective. Again, because not only can we not see it, it, it is difficult to work with. So, um, I, I've have we got any fishermen around? Could you? Because presumably they have to thread the flies. Yeah. Could you use it for that? We've tried, but it's it's not deep enough. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, it's I too deep. I I've should say. I've never fished, so I don't really know. No, I have a lot of men look come to the exhibition and they get so excited when they see it. And then you just they, dash yeah. their hopes. Yeah, I know. But we're trying. I'm thinking of trying to modify it. I love this new market. Yeah. There's a will, there's a way. So there's um, the invisible. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea if we'll be able to see this at all because it is, as the name implies, invisible thread. There. There. Can you see it? Brilliant. Now, Irene, I'm sewing. So, 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 so. My cat, poor old HP. She's, she's getting it in the neck today, isn't she? Yeah, um, she's but naughty. She, she is. She's very naughty. Mm -hmm. She's the cat that has had more than nine lives. She's the one that got stuck in next door's cricket net and I had to cut it out, cut her out. Yeah, yeah. So, she's, she's the one that gets run over and breaks her leg. And uh, my husband said, well, she's got a little bit of a limp. I think she's fine. No, she's <laughs> broken her leg. Um, so. But she's the one that, when I'm sewing, helps. Oh, and she unthreads it, I suppose. Yeah, like mid-project. I can't use this, can I, when it's attached to a project? Yes, of course we can. Can I just sew this or take this other piece of material? Sew whatever you like. This is amazing. <laughs> Seriously, I can do this mid-project. Grab a piece of material then. So we're going to thread a needle. Again. I was going to say, I've got uh, one got, here. You've got millions. Oh, I, happen to, I usually have a needle or two with me. Oh, easy done. Okay. Now, talk about preempting. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. There was a knot in there, and if, if the knot was really, really stuck, there's a way of even getting it out with the knot in there. Which really? is what I'm going to show you now. Okay. Right. So, when you're in the middle of sewing, yeah, and it comes unthreaded with or without knot, mm -hmm. doing it the way we've shown you, it won't work because obviously this is attached. So by definition, you can't pull it through. Oh yeah. Oh, that That's another was one. one we did. It. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but by taking that little cap off, that little <laughs> tiny plastic cap, we do exactly the same thing. Sliding the button again, check it if you wish. Release it. There's the loop. So we're pulling the loop through. Now, this is attached a... to your project on the other end. So we then. Shall I do it? Or... Yeah. yeah. You just take the two pieces of thread and the needle together and give it a tug, and it comes up actually through the gap because it's it's oh. molded in two halves. But it wasn't designed for that. It's just a customer worked it out. It's shoulder. just that you can. Yeah. Brilliant. And I use it without the cap all of the oh, time. Do you? I've you don't even bother the cap. putting that on. And there you are. You are re-threaded to stitch another stitch. And off I go. And yeah. and my love for my cat can continue. <laughs> exactly. Happy days. Yeah. Well, this is this is this is keeping peace and harmony in the McCarthy household. <laughs> let me tell you. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You have to check out your basket. Says producer Paul. Else psh, they're all gone. So just it, it, without the cap, it just works equally well. That's, it doesn't look as attractive, if attractive is the right word. But um, it does it. it do, you certainly don't need the cap. Ribbon, double knit wool, amazing. All of your fancy threads, all the things that you just never thought you were going to be able to do. Christmas decorations can now be threaded with something beautiful. And beautiful, just beautiful. Irene, you're a star. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, uh, we're going to check stocks of this. Yay! Now, if everybody checks out, this might have gone. Look at that. I mean, this is this is a a jailer would be proud of these. It is. <laughs> 
That's brilliant. I don't even know what that is. Um, but it's big and it's heavy. This is your last opportunity to get this because it's going to sell out. Four ninety-five, but everybody needs at least, as you said, at least it's one. one. Yep. At least one. Uh, and the bowl. Let's have a look at the. Oh, hang on. There you go. Thank you. Uh, now the bowl. Yeah, look at look at it. You see. So the bowl. One for hubby's bits and bobs. Look at all these nuts, bolts. Everything. Um, just a, a general good clear up. Grab them in there, just pop them all in. They're all going to stay in there. Half the stock of this has already gone. Love it. Irene, thank you so much. God, it's so strong, that magnet, it is, isn't it? It is, it really is. Absolutely excellent. Pop it onto a magnetic. You could put that on your radiator, couldn't you? Another good idea. Another you, great <laughs> idea. Yay! Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to let you go and have a cup of tea. Very um, grateful. Thank you thank so much. Thank you. And I'll see you in an hour. Certainly will. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you. Right. OK. Over here... Ah, oh, I'm going to need a cutting mat, is what I've just thought. Um, now... Pinking shears! Um, if you are rummaging around on the web, and I would encourage you to do so because there are lots of goodies on the web. Do take a little look and see what you can find because if you spend £20 or more on web purchases only, so nothing that you've seen on the shows, just website there because we do have a full website, then you will get, using free one as the code, a free pair of our pinking shears whilst stock lasts. Now, um, Irene showed us her favourite gadget. I've got my favourite gadget. Yes, yes, yes. Now, um, here we go. This is your Fiskars Circle Cutter. I love this so much, to the extent that actually um, a few of you came to me at um, the, the Great British Sewing Bee and said, uh, yes, love it too. You know, you've got it, you've loved it, you, you use it, and suddenly it opens up that world of circles. And here's why. So, get your fabric. And pop it. Now, if you want to do a full circle, then you see this cross hatch here? You line that up. That is going to be the middle of your circle. Now, you'll see over here that it's got the fabric fold line. That's that solid black line there. This here, you'll see this here says half circle seam allowance. So if you want to do a half circle, then cut on that line, line everything up on that lower line, and that gives you your seam allowance. Obviously, if you're doing a full circle, you don't want to do that. You just want to line it up on there. Now, so you line it up, cross hatch in the middle. Now, down here, it gives you all of your numbers from one all the way through to 12. That's 12 inches as a finished circle. So that will cut you um, a diameter of 12 and a half inches because they know that as a quilter, as uh, someone sewing, you are likely to use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. It even says it has got there, there to remind you that it includes that quarter of an inch seam allowance. So your, your circle cut will be, if you go on the largest one, 12 and a half inches. If you go on the smallest one, will be two and a half inches. But that is your seam allowance. We've got replacement blades because I know a lot of you not only do paper craft but also do um, fabric. So it's great to have both and also just to, to have one whenever you need it. So let's see, you've got your little rubber grips there and then this is the blade. So this is your grid for cutting and then you've got the blade. Now the blade does not engage until you press down from the top, okay? And you can see these little studs sit into the groove so that then it just takes you around nice and easily. The top will twizzle so that you can you don't have to get into awkward arm movements so that top will twizzle around as you go but that blade only engages when you press and apply the pressure. Okay so nice and easy to grip let's go say seven so from the top you've got a grid there can we see uh, uh, but where's the best way to show you that? There. Now that is in line with there, so I know from the top, there you go, where to put that in. So I can slot that in there. 
give it a wiggle that's not going anywhere so i know that is in sort of in my in the groove i'm in the groove then you literally you've got your little presser studs there so just press down press down on there and start to cut you will hear it cut and round you go there that is it that is it and i could hear that has cut it perfectly i have in one fell swoop a perfect circle yes 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 i have done now um here we go that's my first perfect circle let's do another one hee hee bigger or smaller smaller right let's go smaller uh, 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 so we did seven. What size do we want to do now? Four? Let's do four. Yes. There you go. Uh, but then maybe you want to do, you know, something a little bit bigger than you can. Just make sure everything is lined up and then you're good to go. So maybe I want to do something. Look at that. Perfect. Every time. There. So I cut two circles in about five seconds. How amazing is that? I mean, seriously, think about it. How amazing is that? And they are perfect every time. So if you're doing, I, I have yet to do, but I will. Oh my goodness, I will. And also, I will do one of those beautiful circle quilts with the white background, beautiful. But look, there we go. Not only that, but I've got three perfect circles, perfect every time. You can also put your, um, if, you, if you want to use your bonder web, then you can put that on as well. But look, I'm not wasting any fabric because I've cut out the bulk. So I'm saving myself fabric as well. Absolutely fab, absolutely brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, let's try it in another fabric. Let's do it. Uh, so every time I know I'm gonna get a fabulous circle and that makes me really happy, really happy. That's why this is one of my all time favorite gadgets ever. We, we did a beautiful quilt, a beautiful circular quilt where we cut fat quarters, um, sewed them together, not fat quarters, um, two and a half inch strips, sewed them together and then cut out circles. This would do the job perfectly because then every, look, every single time, Absolutely perfect. That's the largest size. So imagine if you're doing it um, and you want to do a rainbow, then that's perfectly easy to do as well. So all you do is you do it on your, on the half, on the half, on the half circle. Shall I show you that? Not on the half, upstairs misheard me. <laughs> Producer Paul says that sounds a bit of a hassle. Right, let me show you. So, uh, 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 actually, let me see, use something that's actually cut straight. So, if you want to do, I'm not sure any of these cut straight. Let me do it that way instead. That looks straightish. If you wanted to do a half circle, then remember this is your half circle with seam allowance. I would do it to the, the dotted line rather than that straight one. So, you'll see on here you've got two lines. So, I want to do it to the bottom line. Line that up, get out my blade, lock it into the grid. Am I locked in? Yes, I am. And then cut around like that. And then you can start to do your rainbows. Yay! <sighs> now we changed the blade this morning. It was really simple and easy to do. Full instructions on the back. Um, it's. Do you know, it, it, it just, you, you wonder why you've been struggling uh, with a blunt blade when you change. It's the same with everything, isn't it? As soon as you change the blade, it's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's brilliant. So this is your blade. This is how to change it, super easy. Um, if you are cutting paper as well, have one for paper cutting and one for your fabric cutting, same as you would with your scissors. But for 5.95, it means that you can protect uh, your blade. Just be aware, obviously the blade will be exposed. Be careful as you would whenever you do it. So you just twist open the top there. There it is. And it literally, turn it there, pops out. And it's got a big, great big spring. So there's the blade, just be careful. Don't put your fingers too near there. And then pop it in. So you see that has to then sit into that groove, twist it, and that is your blade in. Done, done. Do not be afraid to change this. Be careful, but don't be afraid.
two different things. 595 TMGQ73. So if you need to change the blade, let's have a look at that very quickly again. You just unscrew the cap there, line those notches up there so that that takes it out. There's your spring, there's your blade. Get rid of it safely, or maybe that's your paper one, store it safely. I have a little jar that I keep all my blades in. Back in it goes, twist, top on, top on and twist. 15 seconds with some chat. That is not difficult to do. That's the first time I did that. Producer Paul did that for me this morning because I was busy ironing stuff. Um, so that's the first time I've ever actually changed the blade in 15 seconds. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So this is what you're getting. That's your replacement blade. That's what it looks like. It's £5.95. Um, pop it in your basket anyway because, you know, once you get circle cutting, hmm. you're going to cut your circles. It's as easy as that. It's going to happen. A lot of circles are going to get cut. Hey! Uh, now, this hour is all about your gadgets, your gizmos, and the things that you need. Get your circle cutter. Just opens up a whole wealth of opportunities of what you can do. Now, oh, my other favourite thing at the moment. If we're, going, if we're talking magnets, then... Let's have a look at these. We've got different colours for you. This is your Quilters Premium Fine Needles. OK, so here's what it looks like. That thing when you open up a little bottle of needles and you, you, you cautiously, don't you? You cautiously sort of, because you know they're all going to come out in a hurry and then you're going to have to get all your magnetic gadgets and gizmos that you've just got from Irene. Uh, mm, mm, mm. But no, look at this. Hello, pick a needle, any needle. It reminds me of the archer's quills. So pick one and then put it back when you need it. So you're not, you know, you're waiting for them all to come flying out. No, there, ha ha, love this. This makes me happy every time. That's your quilters one, that's 26 mil and you get 20 in there. We've got different sizes for you. So that's the red, under five pounds, treat yourself. Or stocking fillers, it's up to you. Now the next one that I've got is your Quilters Premium Extra Fine. Extra Fine here. Yeah. Okay, so same premise again. So this is, here we go. Uh, this is 26 mil. There they are. Let's show that again. So you take them out and it makes it really easy to store as well. There they are. And then you can keep them all together and then you know that you've got your extra fine ones there. Nice. Now, we've got another size for you as well. This is the green cap. So get to whichever size you need. Now, these are 23 mil. Oh, these are, these are 26 mil long. No, 23 mil. So these are slightly shorter. These ones, 23 mil. The others were both 26 mil long, but one was fine, one was extra fine. Now, these are extra fine. So you've got the silver eye here, extra fine, and these are slightly shorter needles. There they are. Brilliant. Love this. So 445, whether you're going for the slightly shorter ones with the green cap, or the yellow cap is three mil longer and that's extra fine. Or if you want the red one, these are all on the website now. If you want the red ones, then they are just fine. And of course, all of these absolutely perfect to use with Irene's um, needle threader. So do not step away from your fine and extra fine needles thinking that it's gonna be really difficult to thread. No, 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 no. Get Irene's needle threader and get threading. Perfect. Hooray. Dressmaking shears. Hooray. I love Fiskars. I was um, our floor manager Munch yesterday. I was trying to explain to him that what he wants to look out for is the orange because that just tells me it's going to be brilliant value. These are the ones that I have at home. These are your 25 centimetres dressmaking shears, $22.95. They are lovely and long, lovely and easy to use, and they, oh, they just cut brilliantly. Just brilliantly. 
So please do grab those, treat yourself, get the scissors that make life easy rather than munching up your fabric. $22.95 glide. And also because they're so sharp, you know when you, um, when you go somewhere and you watch your fabric being cut and they just sort of do that, <laughs> that thing. Yeah, they do that. Love them. $22.95 for your 25 centimeter dressmaker scissors. I've got a warning. What? What? The telescopic magnetic pen might have sold out. So there might be a few of you missing out and disappointed. I did try and warn you. We will just pop the graphics through our system and check. That way we can check our stocks. So telescopic magnetic retrieval pen, that's what it looks like. If everybody checks out, it has sold out. But just ring up or check, check out, but people will miss out. More of you have them in your basket than we have stock. Sad times, exciting times, sad times. Exciting if you've got it, sad times if you've missed out. But that's why we say, look, our PMP is done per day so that you can check out as many times as you like. More of you adding it to the basket, you have to check it out, otherwise you will miss out. 4.95 for that telescopic magnetic retrieval pen. It's exciting, every time Irene comes in, she brings us something fabulous that we quite frankly need in our lives. Have you bought it for yourself? Have you bought it for your husband? Have you bought one for yourself, one for your husband, one for your, your children? Who knows? Who knows? Absolutely brilliant. Does anyone do Meccano anymore? Does anybody do that? My granddad always used to make do meccano -y things, and so that would be something that we always used to lose, so that would be brilliant for that. What would you like to do next, Bridget Paul? Any of the pins? I thought, stupidly, um, before I started here, that a pin was a pin. A pin was a pin was a pin. Uh, uh, uh. How wrong was I? Um, here are your white pins here. Now, you'll see that the head on these, it's glass, and um, so you can iron over them. Don't melt. Don't use plastic ones that melt. Go for your glass-headed pins. And um, these are quite wide ones and quite nice and long. Let me open these up so that you can see. So they're wide, long pins, these ones. There you go. Okay. So $6.95. Uh, your code there is QFPH82. Now... If you would like these ones, these are much finer. Can I open these? Yeah, good. Now these are your um, 60 mil. You get 43 of these, 60 mil and 40 grams of pins. These aren't exactly the same. I just need to open these up so that I can show you because these are much finer pins. If I can compare and contrast, if I can actually get into them. Dee, 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 dee. Here we go. So this one, you are getting... I've got another one there, which is 20 grams. This is 40 grams. So you're getting... Okay. Let me show you the difference between the two. So this is your longer, bigger, white-headed pin. And this is your finer pin. So can you see the difference between those? That one is a much thicker shanked pin and that one much finer. Can you see the difference there? And that one, the white one, much longer. So it depends on what sort of projects you're doing. I don't know if you can see the difference in the length there. We'll just see if we can get that for you. There. So the ends are both in exactly the same position. So the white ones are longer and thicker, the yellow ones more narrow. So if you're going through finer, finer fabric, get your, your thinner pins. I didn't understand why I needed different pins, so I just highlight that for you. Uh, and then if you, there we go, that's those ones. There's one those ones. And then these ones are, um, this is basically, you just get half the amount, 20 grams. The other's 40 grams. 5.45, there you go, for those yellow pins. So whatever, whatever, whatever you fancy, really. YBPH45. Now I've got more scissors. It's a sea of orange over here. So these were the big ones that we looked at. They were your 25 centimeter ones. Let's go middle white, middle, middle size. It's like Goldilocks and the Three Bears in scissor form, isn't it? 
These are 23 centimetre shears. So if, if um, oh, 22.9, who's going to quibble over a, over a millimetre? Who's going to do that, eh? Nine inches, basically. These are your right-handed, hang on, pinking shears. No, these aren't pinking shears. Nah, nah, wrong details. Right, let's get rid of those. Let's do these little ones instead. Here we are. These are your little nippers. Love these. These are super sharp at the tip here. Really super sharp. There you go. That's your embroidery and needlework scissors. This is 12.5 and 13 pounds 95 there. Um, I, I have to say my little snips are Fiskars because they are super sharp all the way through because the whole point of having your little embroidery and needlework snips is that that tip, that's the bit that you need to get in to get really close, isn't it? Perfect. So 13 95 once you get a really super sharp pair of little needle thread scissors, you'll be like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. My, my old ones were possibly not great. These ones, brilliant. So $13.95. Hey, look what we've got now. Yay, we've got the right ones. Now, we've got pinking shears for you. Sometimes I just like to have all the same. I like to have or orange handles and everything. $39.95 gives you your Fiskars right-handed pinking shears. Nine inches. But look at that lovely smooth action there so that's going to be underneath the fabric if we just lower that down so that then is going to give you that lovely smooth finish now you might say well you know well, I've just got, I've just got some free because I've taken advantage of the web offer yes but how about having one pair for your paper crafting and one pair for your fabric. Fiskars, you know, are gonna be fabulous on your fabric. So 39.95, it's one of those things, once you've invested in a fabulous pair, you've done, perfect. Now, mechanical pencil, do you want the multi one? Yes, love a gadget. Now, this is your trio. Do you remember those pens at school that you used to have? Um, and if you're anything like me, I had like 10 different colors around the top because I'm a stationary girl, love a bit of stationery. This is kind of the same, but in, um, in um, pencil form. So look, watch this end. When I press down, that gives me a white lead that I can use for marking my fabric. Now, when I've had enough of that, push that in, spin this around, BL is what it says there, can you see, BL, I'm going to guess that means blue, so I press and look, oh no, that's black, there you go, black, so you've got a black uh, lead, you've got a white lead, and then round here, hmm, what's that, it has a zero on it, what that does is mean that if you are using something where you're using your carbon paper, then you can just use that and that will push through. So it's sort of nothing, if you will, but it just means that you can use your carbon paper or on some fabrics, you can just kind of scratch the mark on and that's what you'd use that for. Um, or if you're scoring something, then you can use that. That's £10.95, JCRW03. Fabulous! White, black, and then kind of your scoring one if you're using... Um, your carbon paper. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You've got it all in one tool, but maybe you want a pink one. It depends what colour fabric you like to work with, doesn't it? So if you want the pink one, then here it is. These are perfect if you do something like sash care where you need to draw out those accurate grids. That's what these are brilliant for. So this is pink, so it's going to show up on all your darker fabrics. Um, actually, pink is a great colour for showing up on all sorts of different colour fabrics. So this is how it comes to you. It is like those pens that you used to have at school where you get the replacement leads and they just pop in and you just, when you need a bit more, just do that. And it's even got a little eraser on the end there. There you go. Da -dung -dung. Brilliant. Love these. So for that fine marking work, sometimes with dressmaking it makes all of the difference just to make sure that you've marked everything off your pattern absolutely accurately, then this is the way to go. 995 JPRW 47. Love it. Now, if you are shopping on the web, 
Sometimes, some of you just watch the show and, yep, you buy off the shows and you think, yeah, that's great. Did you realise that we have a whole web shop bursting with goodies? If you haven't, then go and have a good rummage. Some of you, some lovely messages from you having a good old rummage through. Um, have a rummage and see what you can find because if you spend £20 online on the web shop, not from anything you've seen on the shows today, or tomorrow then you will get using your code free one a free pair of pinking shears now this is old customers new customers we're not discriminating it's open to anybody one per shopper and this is while shop uh, stocks last now lots of you actually because you know that I love the circle cutter and you've bought the circle cutter a lot of you going for the replacement blade always handy to have again have one if you want to do it for paper crafts have one as well if you're so even if you're doing your patterns don't blunt your blade on paper get a separate blade for just 595 for the for the replacement blade that's great but if you're after the circle cutter to go with completely then 31.95 you get the blade you get it lots of you with it in your basket please check out now as i say the replacement blade always just put one in your basket and be done with it and then whether you want to have it just as a replacement blade or for paper, for your patterns, then you've got it there. But a perfect circle every time. You can use this. It's Fiskars. You can use it on paper. You can use it on fabric. It's 5 dollars a perfect circle, semi-circle, any kind of circle that you want every single time. You've got that uniformity. Absolutely brilliant. Lucy's up next. And it's all about the butterfly and a little flash of cafe. So we'll see you after this very short break. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. There are many ways you can watch Sewing Quarter. We are live every day on Freeview Channel 78 and online at sewingquarter.com from 8am till 12 noon. But if you've missed a show, don't worry. There are two easy ways to catch up. The first is through our website, www.sewingquarter.com where we repeat that morning shows throughout the day. On the homepage you'll see our video stream. Click on the video to hear sound and see a list of the products that we have shown in that day's shows. The second way to catch up is on our YouTube channel. All our shows are kept on YouTube so if you buy a product and want to see the demonstration again you can. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash sewing quarter where you'll find all our shows listed by date. Select your preferred date, then using the description beneath the video, jump to the hour you want to watch. Then you can pause, rewind, play and skip your way to the bits that you want to watch again. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. This Monday, Joe Carter will be bringing bags of beautiful gift ideas to the Sewing Quarter studio. The versatile 10 purse clasp collection can be made into any number of gorgeous accessories. Among Joe's creation will be glasses cases, purses, and of course, attractive evening bags too. So if you want to fashion some festive stocking fillers or treat yourself to a new accessory, join Jo as she shares her top tips on how to transform these clasps into stylish creations. So join us on Monday the 2nd of October at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.
Welcome back to Sewing Quarter. I'm looking smug and excited because uh, we're doing these beautiful button butterfly designs out of the bundle book, which is gorgeous. And I've just looked at it and gone, hang on a minute, that's a quarter of a circle. With that, that's half a circle. I can use my Fisco circle cutter. Yes, I can. Uh, so I'm super excited. So we're just getting that back so that we can have a play with that. But this is the block uh, that we're gonna be using today. It's come out of the beautiful bundle book here. The photography is exquisite in here. We'll have a look in just one moment. Oh, do you want to look at this now then, Producer Paul? Okay. So, in here, lots of utterly gorgeous quilts and uh, photography that just makes me want to go on holiday quite frankly look at that so the one that we're doing today these are all photographed in Tasmania aren't they detailed instructions to go with each one you get tantalizing photography and then you get shown how to do all of the blocks look at that Absolutely gorgeous. Now, uh, we are using, if I can just find, where is it? Where's it gone? I'll find it in just one moment. Oh, look, there's another one you could use your uh, circle cutter for. This one, here it is, butterflies. So we needed some green fabrics. We found you some cave. Yes, we did. Of course we did. So uh, this is the green cave facet bundle that we've got for you, five fat quarters in there all inspired by nature look at that just stunning so you've got all of these all five of oh, just beautiful absolutely beautiful so if you want to get that green effect then 21.95 gets you five k fat it k facet fat quarters god it's not easy to get your teeth around is it can i show you this one because i just love this design Look at that. Just look at that. I have a feeling that might be one of Philip Jacob's designs who designs with K Facet. He calls himself, Brandon Mabley and Philip Jacobs, the three musketeers when it comes down to design and they do work really well together. So $21.95, Kafe obviously does the color. That's amazing. It's all about the color. Um, now, uh, we've got a red option for you. It's kind of ready pink. Oh, there's your green. Sorry, $21.95. Now let's have a look at the red. Yeah, five again. Five fat quarters again. Just beautiful. Yeah. Look at, oh, just look at that. It's like an oil painting, isn't it? But in fabric form just exquisite so you've got all of those different textures and directions and oh it's just dynamic isn't it 21.95 for your k facet red five of those gorgeous 21.95 so this could it depends what accent you want what color accent you want um so then the next one is the blue there you go so you've got this is more of a more polka dotty, but you've still got that natural feel in there as well. So you've got these, twenty-one ninety-five again. <coughs> Excuse me. That's your blue option. So if you want a calmer blue, then go for that one. But this is what we're making. So it is the butterfly. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. I'm going to take these with me. And I'm going to take the book. I'm going to take the lot. Oh, Lucy's having a quick, a quick press. I can do that. <laughs> Look what I've come with. Yay! Yay. Yeah. Uh, hello, Lucy. Welcome hello. back. Hello. Gosh, busy old desk going on here. I know. We are busy, Lots busy, of busy. Cutting. There you go. If you hold that. Okay. And I'll hold this one. And you start to get an idea yeah. of what it's all going to look like. <laughs> yeah. Get it straight. It's beautiful. Yeah, really pretty. Very unusual. Yeah, it's a really, it's a simple design, but really, really striking. Why do we shy away from circles? And this, I don't know, I love sewing curves. It's, it's one of my favourite um, things to do, is sewing curves. I love, Hooray! I love a drunkard's path. Who block, doesn't? Which, <laughs> oh, block, right. <laughs> which is what, <laughs> what this is made up of. Awkward. Um, but what, what I, all, the other thing I really like about um, this is that it really showcases those, those <coughs> fabrics. Having the grey 
next to it yes just makes it go pop and then it it's does. framed in that white so it's all about the color isn't it absolutely and if there's one thing that Kaif does it's color color let's be honest well. you know yeah he does color yeah it's beautiful so they're really straightforward to make and we're making it even easier we're going to be using the circle cutter, aren't we? Um, yeah, we suddenly realised in the break, hang on a minute, because you get a template in the book. You do, you so, do. So I printed this off um, and I've just cut it out of um, paper. Mm. It's not the most reliable method um, to use paper as a, as a template. It is doable, um, but my preference is to use um, the template plastic. So then you can draw out your templates, you know, onto the plastic and cut those out. And that means, you know, it's much sturdier, it's easy. You can see where my pen's gone a bit all yeah. over the place um, yeah. on the paper. So it's much sturdier to be able to cut it out of the um, template plastic. If you want that, and we didn't have it in our, our warehouse is a little way away. And we, so we didn't actually have it here because we can't store everything yeah. here. There's no room. But if you want it, here it is. So we don't have it in physical form, but this is what it'll look like when it comes to you. Template, plastic, plain. But it's great because you can see through. So then if you're fussy cutting, you can use it to... Absolutely. Yeah. So it makes it really, really easy. Um, it's nice and sturdy, so it's not going anywhere, you know, when you're uh, tracing around it. And I use the template plastic a lot for templates, obviously. Um, <laughs> oh. But because I do hand sewing, and so if I'm hand piecing something, I have to draw on the lines to cut yes, out the fabric. So. Um, that makes it really, really easy to have that plastic, and then I could do whatever shape. And you get two, you know, I want to two make. sheets in there for the same price as your PMP. And you can get a lot. You know, these are larger templates, but even with that, you'd still have a lot of the plastic left over to use oh, for yeah. smaller pieces. Absolutely. And um, so the template plastic, you know, it's a great price, and it goes. Well, if you're clever about how you do it, because that yes. sits into there, then you can just whoosh. yes. Exactly, and, and line term. that up on, on the corner, you know. Yeah. And you're not, you're not wasting any that Awesome. Way. Now, um, you use the green cafe in these. I did. Uh, but we're not going to use green cafe today, are we? What colour are we going to no, use? No, we're going with the, is it red bundle? Oh, yes. Today. Oh, is that what you're so, frantically ironing Yeah, I've here? gone for, yeah, I was trying to, I'm sorry. <laughs> trying to iron that as I go along. Um, but I love, I've chosen that print because it's so, you know, it's a big, bold print is yeah it's beautiful love it's it. really really lovely so i thought we could do that and then maybe try the dots oh as well look at time. it it's just beautiful if ever there was um when i uh, if ever there was a fabric that was vibrant it's this one when we had kaif on the show um he said that he oh yeah it is philip jacobs like it says on the salvage he says that he likes working with philip jacobs he's a fine artist um but he used to do a lot of um fabrics for interior design, mm -hmm. things like that. But what he hates, what Philip Jacob hates, is working with colour. Mm -hmm. Hello, over to Cave. So they are the dream team. You have these stunning, stunning designs, and then Cave does what Cave is excellent at and brings in the colour. So in these fat quarter bundles, you've got a bit of Cave, you've got um, Cave's take on a Philip Jacobs design. You've got all of these within there and also some um, Brandon Mabley mm -hmm. as well. So you've got the three, he calls them the three musketeers and they just work brilliantly together. So you get different tastes, but they all collectively work because those colors run through a dream. Yeah. Have I got to iron that? Yes, time? please. Okay. Um, another thing <laughs> about, I love about this print is, um, you know, we were talking um, about you know, sections of fabric and when you're cutting it up, because obviously when you're quilting, you're cutting the fabric up into yes. smaller pieces. So with a print like this, you've got all these different areas. It's going to end up looking, you know, like six, seven different fabrics just from that one print. But then with something like this, you can take a bigger section, you know, and cut out, and cut out so you'd get that whole bloom you know, within the, oh, within the um, yes. wing of the butterfly, which is really nice. Now, just imagine, if you will. Just indulge me for a moment. Um, you've fussy cut that out. Mm -hmm. What happens if you fussy cut that out of the center of that fabric, which then means you have a circle cut out of there, which means that as much as you're doing circles onto white, if you then cut your, if you then cut white out of, you could then 
place that in the middle and you'd have a reverse a reverse um, quilt. Yes. Yes, you would. Just throwing it out there. Yeah. And it does go beautifully. You know, I mean, any anything, generally speaking, looks good with white, unless it's cream. Um, but even then, you can make that work. But it work. can be. It, yeah, yeah, you can make that work. Um, but it does do wonders for these, you know, to showcase these This uh, is where colours. the genius of colour comes in. Would I have ever put that with something that looks like an oil painting? Uh -uh, not in a million, but look at it being absolutely perfect. I love that. It's beautiful. I love this one. I think that's really that's a really clever print. It as is well. absolutely beautiful. It is. So are you going to cut it up? <laughs> I now feel quite nervous about doing that. Yes, yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've got a fresh blade. Let's do it. Oh, I keep so kicking. You've got the. Um, yeah, yeah it's really annoying. We've got. Um, you've got the templates in the in the book, and so the finished um, drunkard's path block is six inches. So that means we can cut a five and a half inch. We did, well, yeah, we did, we did measure this yes, on here, didn't we? we? Did. So let's just, just check. double check ourselves. And if we do, if we put that end there to there, then that is going to give us, so that is five and a half inches. I will double check that on my, on my this. Oh, so descriptive on my <laughs> this C words and just check where I want to be doing it so yeah I want to be doing that on my 11 mm -hmm. because two five and a halves is going to give me 11 11 are we ready for this Lucy ready. are you sure you're happy for me to give this yes, a go I'm happy. of course just which don't one cut anything that's underneath because I have oh, made okay. I've made a mess as which one am I cutting we do both can you do two layers at once you Probably, it, but fall. I'm now I'm now feeling a little nervous. Okay, no, do one at a time. That's fine. Do you have that? Do you have fabrics that you get nervous to cut? You're like, oh, I have fabrics that I've had for such a long time. I haven't even cut them. Really, you're Which that nervous about it? Yeah. Which way would you like it cut? That's the next thing. I, mean, I don't. But you don't care. Do you? I just cut it. it doesn't matter. Just cut it, Natasha. Stop it talking and cut it. Um, I, right. I do like the. I do like this. If we can get, can we do that? Yeah. Yes. Of course we can. Of course we can. I like that. Because <laughs> then that way we're making um, two butterflies, aren't we, from one circle? Yes. So we could have one with the, the <gasps> greeny and Ooh. one with the pinky, or mix it up. So 11. I tell you what, talk about put your money where your mouth is. It's all right when it was just scraps out the bin. <laughs> actually got to do it now. Do it for proper so that Lucy can actually use it. Why did I even <laughs> doubt it? Why? 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 So I'm going to just give that a little press because that's going to be where Do I'm going to, to cut it, isn't it? Press it, press it. Um, no, it'll be all right. Like yeah. That. yeah, it'll be fine. How exciting. And look, because if you did want to do a reverse quilt, then you could square that off into a... into a block into a square mm. oh, that would be amazing it's a good idea say that <laughs> <laughs> it's not going in the scrap bin <laughs> Woo! um right should i cut you another one yes and then we'll be good to go one. yep this is so exciting what, what would you be doing if you were using the template what would you be doing right now it, okay so if i'm using the tech well i'll show you because i'm going to have to do the other the other section of the template and it's exactly the same thing but um in the book it tells you how to uh, cut your fabric to get the most pieces um out of it to get the most shapes so you you're cutting ten and a half by six and a half inch rectangles and you get two i've just caught a thread um two of um the quarter circles from from that so i would be draw i'm literally drawing around the template because you can't cut you know i wouldn't use my rotary cutter to cut that beautiful oh, isn't that gorgeous isn't that so just beautiful. exquisite oh my goodness right okay um i'm now over to you okay so i'm going to cut this in half i'm just lining it up on the creases you're not going to be able to see that i suspect and then do you want to fold that one in half for yes. me, please? Yes, yes, yes. 
Folding and finger pressing? Yes. But because it's been cut perfectly, you can Especially find Especially it was it. just at the edges, I really need you to do it. Okay. okay. Just brilliant. So it is important that you've got accurate, um, you know, pieces with this. So that was wonderful to be, oh, well, that's all right, because that one's done in half. Um, how quick and easy compared to me with my pen mark <laughs> marking and out then having all those. to scissor cut as well because it's yes, you have to because we cut. didn't have the plastic template no what it goes to show lucy is that you can if you don't have all the gadgets and gizmos you can still do this quilt and do it beautifully yes. as you've shown but it's also if you do happen to have you know an odd gadget or gizmo brilliant happy days it's all good thank you Oh, I've cut that the wrong way, so... Oh, no, it doesn't matter, does it? doesn't it? matter, does it? Up. No, it doesn't matter. Which is just fab. Oh. I love the colours in this Yeah, one. no, Absolutely me too. Absolutely love it. With that blue dot, it's so different, you know, <coughs> really different. I don't, I don't know. You know, I was, I was scared of colour. Having Kate on the show, um, you can watch this, you can actually, I think it's, I think it's still on YouTube. Uh, it was... Yeah, was it the 14th or something? Either the 10th or the 14th of, of August. It was around that time. And, um, no, it was the 10th. Yeah, it was, the, it was, the, it was just before my birthday. Um, and it was, it was just amazing. He made me not worry about colour. Mm -hmm. If in doubt, add 20 colours, that's what he It says. was really inspiring. I had to, because I sat and watched it at home. What a guy. And I, I, re I thoroughly enjoyed that interview. I got so much from it. I really, really, you did a fabulous job. And it, it was really, really enjoyable to He watch. just is such a wealth of knowledge and experience. Absolutely. He's 80 years old. He doesn't look it, does no, he? No, he doesn't. He so doesn't. all of those years creating, he's learned a few things. And hearing his story, you know, hearing his story and everything, yeah. was, it was fascinating. I'm just going to use that again, trim off oh, go on. these yeah, sorry. Um, salvages. You know, you often get asked, you know, if you could have anyone to dinner, who would it be? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's got a tail or two, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah like off-air tails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the ones we like to hear, yeah. aren't they? So, I'll just grab my um, pen. Oh, so, I've got a message. Yes. Uh, uh, Mary says, Lucy, great expertise. What ruler would you recommend for cutting cave strips, says Mary? Um, if you're wanting to cut strips, the stripology ruler is um, Have we got that in stock? genius. I don't know. I don't know but if it's, it's in stock. But it's fabulous if, if, when we do when get, we get it, it back, because we yeah. will. Because uh, we both love that one, don't we? Um, but d definitely this um, ruler, the one that's 24 and a half inches, whether you go for the six and a half or the eight and a half, that's, you know, it's up to you. But it, this is the one that I use at home a lot if I'm not using the stripology. But when I've only got to cut, you know, two strips like that, I'll just grab this ruler. Because um, you've got, you fold over, you've got the full yeah. width of the fabric, you fold it in half, and then you can cut the full width of the fabric. Which is what you've used for the white. So we're using the optical white, which yes. is um, 325 per half a metre. And so then, like you say, fold it in half and cut your strip. But that's why this is great, because generally your selvage to selvage on, on this type of cotton is going to be about 44 inches. So that's 22 inches in half. And this gives you 24 and a half inches. So you've got a little bit of leeway either mm -hmm. side to then edge your rotary cutter and in I, safely. Absolutely. Safety first. And I always cut my strips. I don't cut the selvages off. You know, I don't get fabric and cut the selvages off. It's not the first thing that I do. Mm ever if I'm honest because I'm always cutting and it allows me to do that with the selvages on cut the full width of the fabric and then I can just cut off what I need and any leftover fabric still has that selvage on so I know which yes you know which, which are those are, are those um edges yeah um so that just makes things easier for me whereas if I've cut up little bits of it and the, the selvage is gone I don't know you know which side the selvage is so so Mary this one She's yes. from Greater Manchester. That's not that's not far from you, is it? It's well, that's where I live. Greater there you go. Not far at all. <laughs> <laughs> Same place. Even closer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it is uh, big, though. It's Greater Manchester. It's big. Yeah, it's a big county. Uh, Twenty-three ninety-five gets you all of that again with your non-slip grip and the beauty of the creative grids, especially on something like this, because they are quilters designing for quilters. You'll notice two different colours. The white numbers give you inches 
And on this side here, you've got a quarter of an inch with that embedded, if I put my dark top against it, there you go. This is quarter of an inch here of this um, embedded non-slip grip. Over this side, if I spin it around, you have black numbers, and you'll notice it's an inch and a half, because so often you're cutting to mm -hmm. make a finished three inch. So you'll have to cut it at three and a half inches. Well, now you've got that as a, as a solid line to then work from. And you'll notice that your edge over here is half an inch. So you've got that, if you're just checking that half inch, you've got that as a real easy visual reference because not only do you have that thick line there, but you've also got that non-slip grip. So that sort of opaque finish on yeah. there. That's why we love And you'll grids. see me a lot of times if I'm, if I'm cutting strips, and I'm going like this and I go, oh, and I turn it over. That's why, because I'm cut, I'm, I either need to cut um, a half inch or a full inch. If it's, um, if I'm doing like an inch and a quarter or, you know, anything that's a quarter or three quarters, I work from the full numbered, you know, yeah. I do it that way because yeah. it makes more sense in my brain. Um, so I cut it from that side, but that's, I've just had to cut some three and a half inch strips. So that's exactly spin what I did, it just spin it. You know, it's so easy to do. And it just, it just, I mean, always, Measure twice, cut once, absolutely. But it does just make it m much easier. Yeah. So now if, I'm, if I ever come across a ruler and it doesn't have those, I'm thoroughly confused. Really? Yeah, when I have to, and then I automatically spin it round to get a half inch and they and don't have right. it. And I go, oh. It's not a creative grid. I find it very frustrating. <laughs> Well, that's why you only use Creative Grids, Well, that's it? why, yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we've got our templates. So we've got the templates. So um, the this is what I did. This is what I did for when I was doing this one. Just do exactly the same thing. Just put it on the fabric and um, draw around it. And then you've got to have your L-shaped piece. So I'm just doing the same thing. So I have got two layers of fabric, which is a little bit. See how I just go over it with the pen. This is why you want your template plastic. Yeah. Um, but there, so you're just drawing it like that and then you can just position that one there so you're getting, making the most and not wasting your fabric. But that's what, it gives you the measurements in the, in the book to get everything, um, you know, from that strip. Yeah, as much, you want yes. best value for money, Absolutely. don't you? Absolutely, yeah, so you're not wasting fabric. Because, uh, you know, sometimes with templates you are, where you do waste a lot of fabric yeah. if you're just... You know, where if I'm doing hand piecing, I've just got a little piece and I have to faff about with it. So that's nice that that bit's done for you. And then um, just cutting that out. So I prefer to cut, I wouldn't just go at this with a rotary cutter, that's dangerous. I'm not laughing about that, that is dangerous. So I would use the not scissors even, to cut Not even out. that straight line there. I can do that with the ruler. Yes, in fact, yeah. I might do that first. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't attempt to do a curve without a... No. Without, uh, a, without a proper a ruler. acrylic, yeah, yeah, template. yeah, and don't go against no, not against your plastic templates either. Make it. A proper I don't, ruler. I don't cut with a rotary cutter with the with the template plastic because I don't. It's not thick enough. No, that's what I mean. It's I just don't not think safe. it's thick enough. I, w I would prefer to just draw it and cut it out. So I'm going to very carefully because I've got two layers here. So I'm just going to cut this out. So you do want a nice, um, good sharp pair of scissors for doing this. And just follow now, the curve. Now, whilst you do that, this is in the book. You get the templates and everything in the book. Um, oh, this book just inspires me. It's a beautiful oh, book. It is just exquisite. It's the colourways, isn't it? And the photography it is, is The gorgeous. photography is incredible. I mean, it's almost a coffee table book, really. Yes! Because it's so beautiful. I'm glad you said that, because normally they laugh at me. No, I Thinks as a quilter, yeah. that's what I'd have on my coffee table. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so it shows you how these templates are going to be pieced together, all the other things that you need, talks you through exactly how to make it. Look at that. It does look like Flight of the Bumblebees, doesn't it? It does. I know they're butterflies, but, you know, humour me. You could make them into bees, couldn't you? You could use black and... You could do black and yellow. Yes, black and yellow. But they are, I mean, it, it's a great showcase for beautiful fabric, I think. Absolutely. But then if you spin it around, they're no longer butterflies. It's just an interesting shape. Natasha, genius. But it, but it, yeah, but I really like that. It gives it a totally different look, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, you weren't being sarcastic? No, I wasn't. <laughs> 
happy. <laughs> Genius! I wouldn't have thought to turn it round like that. I think that's really clever. But also, that's how you would see it, isn't it? On a bed. Yeah. You'd see that's from, from the side. Trade. That's how you would. That's how you're being sarcastic. I think that's a really good idea. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, it just it just gives a different feel. Brilliant. Okay, so now we've got our pieces, and I will just point out actually that when you're doing a drunkard's path block, this isn't cut from a square. Can I just show everybody that? Because it's, I think people, sometimes you think you can cut a drunkard's path from a square and you, oh, right. you can't. No, because that's... These don't go together. Do you see? No. This is shorter. I think it's a quarter of an inch shorter, if I'm right, than this piece here. So you can't, Cause you see you can't cut a square and just cut that and expect it to end up at that, that same amount. It won't work. The so. only way that you would do that is if you appliqued it on. Well, you can't, I have, I have... I did do it actually. I made a quilt, the Tula pink one with the curves. Love I that. cut those from Was that layer out of cakes. Here? No, no, I, I just made it up. Oh, did you? Yeah, I just, so you just, I took the squares and cut a curve. But what I'm saying is that, because then you have to trim it back. Yes, I'm with do you. Do you see what I mean? Yes. So if you know you want a six inch finished block, you can't cut that out from a square. So that's, I, that is beautiful. Look at this. Just gorgeous. Now, Firstly, what a fabulous showcase for exquisite fabrics. Amazing. Hello, Kaif. Um, and against the grey apps. Oh, look at that. Um, but also, if you've just bought the Fiskars Circle Cutter, hello. Yeah, and that's, I love how she has, look, she's put the location of where all the pictures oh. are. I mean, it's really, yeah, absolutely beautiful book. It, it's half a quilting book, half um, some sort of, uh, I don't know, travel guide. It's brilliant. Yeah, it is. It's wonderful. Look, that's beautiful. I love rain. So the... I love rain. It's my favourite weather. And I've been, Is it? Yeah, I've been collecting raindrop and umbrella <gasps> fabric. Have Wouldn't you? that be perfect? Yes. For that? But then this is my favourite quote out of this book. Isn't that gorgeous? Again, hello circles. Hello circle Hello. cutter. There's your quilt. Fifteen ninety five for this absolutely stunning book. You clearly don't have fuzzy hair like me to love rain. <laughs> I don't, no, I do, and I just don't care. You don't care. I don't care. I go out um, in the rain. I love it. Now, uh, the most popular cave is, is the blue. Ah. I'm really surprised by it. Mm, am I really surprised by that? <laughs> no, everybody loves blue. They, well, we that love was blue. the thing. And that's got, that's got my, um, is that different? That's got my, my different. what? I don't know, it's different. That pansy one's my favourite that's on there, but it's not on the... It's not twenty one ninety five, and you're getting all of those. There we go. Um, SDRW73. <laughs> For your blue cave. Uh, what's going on here? Well, I'm going to sew now. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. But I... This is how I sew it together. I don't understand. I know. It look. It really doesn't look like it should make no, sense, does it? it there are different ways of um, sewing drunkard's path. I've said that before. I think Joe's demonstrated um, the other way using the L piece on top. Um, but this is the way that... Um, I started doing it and this is This is where I preference. want to cry and reach for my bonder web and just applique it all down. No, no, no. no. I, honestly, it's so easy. And when you get going, it's so quick. They're so quick to put together. Okay. You, you, you know, you think you've got however many to do, 100, you know, to make. But you can just chain piece them and it goes really, really quickly. Okay. Um, you can pin of course, is another method, but my preference is without pins, yeah, okay. which makes it even faster. Yeah. Okay. No, I want, I'm going to get it right. But one tool I will say is crucial for, for this, for, for getting these bits, is um, a pair of tweezers. Uh, we've given you not only tweezers, but tweezers with magnifying glass. Yeah, so I can be incredibly precise. <laughs> Is it wrong that all I think of is that for that stray chin hair? I'm like, that'd be brilliant. Perfect. Perfect. I, that wasn't really their intended use. Everyone's got that one stray, dark it. one. They do. Producer Paul says he hasn't. That's because you've got an entire beard, yeah. Producer Paul. <laughs> that doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> no one would notice if you plucked out one. So I use the tweezers to help me match the points um, at the end. Right. And it's, it, I mean, you can do it with your hands but it's tricky and slightly dangerous so i prefer to use um the tweezers they go under six pounds bing 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 and of course you just adjust it to where your eyesight wants it yeah 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 brilliant four times magnification on there five pound 45 
I mean, it is a gadget, but I feel Irene should have brought us. <laughs> she brings us the best gadgets, yeah. but not this one. This is ours. We. This is. I do have a separate pair of tweezers. You know, I have tweezers that you use for tweezing, and then I have a separate pair that I just use for sewing because actually they come in really handy for yeah. lots, lots of projects. So <coughs> well, for my I overlocker, I have my I need sewing it to tweezers. Thread. <laughs> thread everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I use a quarter inch foot, and for me. Um, I can do it without a quarter inch foot, but it doesn't go as well as when I'm using a quarter inch foot. So if you're used to sewing, just using the edge of your foot as a guide, mm. you can just use the edge of the foot. But I do like having um, the built in guide on the quarter inch so foot. Like I find that really, net. it really helps when I'm sewing this. And also because I do sew quickly. My quarter of an inch foot doesn't have that guide and it, it annoys me. I might have to invest in one that does. Yes, it, it, I mean, some people don't like it, some people can't get on with it, but most people put it on and go, oh, this makes it so much easier. Yeah. So it is worth, it's worth okay. trying. Um, okay, so I'm just, well, I'm starting, and when you, when you begin sewing initially, it's a straight line. Okay. So I could just do a little back stitch, and then I can just sew, and then I'm gonna be using both of my hands, right. and I have one holding the top piece and one holding the um, bottom piece. And the idea is I'm going to guide the pieces together. Okay. So I want to be looking at the front of the front right edge of my foot. And that's where I want those fabrics meeting. Can you see that there? Yeah. So here yeah. is where I want to be concentrating. And I want to be gently, but be, you know, be a bit forceful if you need to. Ooh pull those fabrics together so that as I'm sewing, they're meeting at okay. that point there, okay? So then you can just go ahead and sew. And I'm just manipulating the fabric. So I'm not really pushing or pulling, you know, with a great deal of force, but just pulling those along so they're meeting at that point. And it becomes like sewing a straight line. You just have to get used to the fact that you're using both of your hands to do this which feels very strange. And then as you get to the end, it becomes really hard to, to pull that over. So I just I'm in use, the, I just want to quiet. use the tweezers and pull this. I might have been pulling this circle a little bit too much. Um, but just can manipulate this top bit and pull it over so that they're going to meet at the corner. I did pull that a little bit, well, that bit a little bit too far, so I might have to trim that bit off. go wow. and then when you pull that back um, that will press that. out look so at I've got that. not a ripple nothing that's <laughs> super impressive how do how do you iron that um I tend to iron it the way it wants to go so you can just see that is wanting to go that way should I just do that yes yeah, so I... just give that a press and I'll yeah. do another one okay so you I'll press that so that you can you really can't stop see. me when I got going with these because I love making them so much. So, so Lucy, for that bit there, mm -hmm. would you just trim that down? Yes, you can just trim that edge. Just trim that edge Perfect. off. That was my fault because I was pulling. I shouldn't have. Um, it's because I was going. Don't pull and pulled it. <laughs> don't do as I do. No, say. don't do as I do. So I'll just show you again. It's the L-shaped piece. Should I do it the other way or do that? And then you're laying this one the wrong way on the top. Hang on, let's think about this. <laughs> do it the way like you want. There, there we go. I'm trying to do it upside down, like that. There we go. So you so, so it looks like they're not going to go together. But they so will. But they will. They will. I'm going to leave you to do that and go and show everybody okay. the fabric because the fabric is going super fast, as is the book. Uh, so the K Facet Red, which is the one that we're using today and is just uber beautiful, $21.95. You'd, oh, you need to check out your basket, says producer Paul. Message from him there. So twenty one ninety five, and this is what you're getting. These are your five fat quarters. Love, love, love that. Oh, this is the one that we're working with. There it is. And all its gorgeousness. Ah, just fabulous. So they are your red collection, twenty one ninety five. Blue has been super popular. So here we go. This is your blue collection. Yeah, nice, very nice. 
21.95 for your bloom. Been, been most popular today, it's your bloom. And then your last one is the green. Here's your green over here, which is the one that we've actually got the sample in today. Yeah, that's the cabbage, the cabbage rose. Oh, look at that, it almost looks, oh, it's like midnight colours, isn't it? It's just wonderful. And then you've got your zigzaggy bit. More, these are all inspired by natural elements. That's, that's what these collections are all about. Uh, so that's 21.95 for five fat quarters of cave facet goodness. Now, what you will have noticed is that Lucy's using a plain white and then she's gonna use a, a plain gray. So let me give you some options for your planes. Now, charcoal is our deep gray. Now this is just down to personal preference as to which one you want. But this is by the half meter, 325 per half a meter when you so it'll come in one long length so if you put in three units you'll get a meter and a half all in one great long length now the next one is your deep purple Ooh, that's going to work with the green if you wanted to do that with the green again 325 per half a meter there yay um now the optical white is the one that lucy's been using just gives it that pop this is our brightest white that we sell that is your bright bright white again it's just 325 per half a meter but if you want your colors to pop then this is the one to go for is your optical white now slate is the one that lucy's used with her green with the green that she's used so that's the one that you've seen already perfect and again 325 per half a meter so you decide how much you want to grab there QLMY48, a really handy colour to have in your stash. Blue's so popular at the moment. So there you go, that's that. Um, now remember, if you are browsing the web and shopping on the web shop, so not things that we've shown you on the shows today, nothing on t telly, just on the web, then if you spend £20 or more, then you can, well, you will get, while stocks last, a free pair of pinking shears. Hurrah! Use the code FREE1. It makes me think of free willy, but it's not. Just free one. Free one pair. Uh, one pair per person. Awesome. I'm just going to do some uh, pressing for you over here. Thank is you. Right? There's no stopping you, is there, once no. you get going with a circle? Or a semicircle, or any kind of circular action. I really enjoy these. So it's the just so satisfying. <laughs> but the, um, the top tip is the tweezers. Top tip is tweezers, definitely. Okay. It really does help. Oh, helps if you cut your thread too. Ooh, there we we're go. Loving these. It's a great way to showcase your fabric because you've got grey and white surrounding these. So it, it just makes every colour and design just go pop, doesn't it? It does. Fab, fab, fab. So I'm just gonna lay out the block. So you've got all the measurements in the book there for the um, triangle. Uh, sorry, triangles. No triangles. Oh, sorry. In this sorry. hour, um, <laughs> for your squares and your rectangles. So this is just very simple piecing. You're sewing the squares um, together, and then you're sewing that section to the um, rectangle. This is what we're making. Cave butterflies. Does it get any better than that? No siree, Bob. No. <laughs> this is brilliant. So those ones mm. I'm using the um, controversial, green but ones, I rather I think love I need that. To as trim well. that down, yeah. That's what you can do. Circle. I mean, there's so many things you could do with once the drunkard's you start, block. Yeah. Once you start playing with that, isn't that just exquisite? And they are. They all have different, um, you know, pattern names. There's a lot of traditional. But you see, look at that. So you can really you can mix up with the colours. Oh, yeah. So you could you could do it like that, couldn't you? <gasps> see, that, oh, it's that makes my heart happy. Pink and, pink yeah, and orange in those spots. Happy so day. Oh, that. but just however you want to do it. Um, that's not what we're doing today. So I'm just going to put that away. <laughs> But, you know, you could. Uh, Brenda in East Sussex says, hello, Luce. Uh, oh, hello. Lucy explains so well. I think I can try it now, Yay. says Brenda from Sussex. Thank you. Thank That's you, what Lucy Brenda. is best at, is just making everything clear and accessible. I didn't realise that you used to be a lecturer. No wonder your demos are so I clear and I easy to understand. I did to be a lecturer in a different life. 
It I explains was it a all. Lecturer. Yeah. What did you use to lecture in? Sociology. And there was a bit of crime. Sociology, criminal, a bit of criminology. Yeah. Yes. So it does feel like a different life now, though. How many years That's ago funny. are we talking? I don't know. I did, I, uh, did it for five years. Lecture for five years. So gosh. Yeah, and, and I still, I'm interested. You know, you still enjoy thing, it, and you. I'm interested in it. But I uh, do come from a family of teachers. Oh right, artists and teachers. Funnily. Well, enough, there you go. So. You've you've settled right into the middle, <laughs> yes. haven't you? Like, yeah, I'll yeah. just do both. That, that works pick. well. Do it both. <laughs> do you want me to? So, if you don't mind, that would yeah, be great. Thank fine. you. So you can see how easy it is to get these, you know, to piece these blocks and have them come together. Um, so a whole, you know, a whole quilt would just a be fly by. <laughs> no butterfly pun intended. But I think for those special print, you know, for those prints that you want to show off. And then another thing that's lovely about <coughs> this particular pattern is you're not having to match. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, there's no matching of the points where, where your um, circle is. Sometimes with drunkard's path uh, blocks, you've got to have the, you know, if you were to do a circle, for example, you've got to have those um, corners matching up. But so that's, that's your butterfly, but if you were, oh, here we go. Yeah. If you were to so do if that. If you were to do it that way and have those, and have those meeting, you could press one one way and press one the other way, but I think it changes the effect. I would just keep the bulk of having them pressed and that then, way and just uh, yeah just deal with it <laughs> get <laughs> over so it over that, yes. so over that seam because i think that's you see even if you way. wanted to you know you could if you wanted to really mix in those colors yes. oh yeah, it's could. just a joy so then it just becomes a four patch um block so very simple you're just going to sew your rows together and then um brilliant Sorry, sew it into rows and then sew your rows together. I'm so thrilled that we could use the circle cutter. I know. It's, it's so the small fun. things in life. But it just, <laughs> hmm, hang on. But just meant that because otherwise, again, that's another thing that could go a bit wonky for me, would be my circles, would be cutting those out. Yeah. And I think we've seen that you need that precision. Great. Just great. Um, if you'd like the K Facet Red that we're working with today, it is the most popular, $21.95. For me, this is the standout in that. It's, it's oh. delicious. But then when you see it with, again, with, I, don't, I don't know, man's genius, it just works. Just works. I think, I love Look the big that. bloom, but I do love the dots as well. I'm a bit torn as to what's my favorite. <sighs> I like them both. Some of you multi-buying the red kefir, don't blame you. Get it while you can, it's not always available. And that then, are you pressing the seam to the wings? Yes, you are. Yep. Yes, you are. <laughs> so could you press this I'm one? I'm just winging it. Can you press I that one know. towards the wing as well for me? Towards the wing. Yes, please. Um, it was the way it wanted to, to lie. It, it is, and that's what, and that was it's what another thing I love about this talk is it just seems to, it's like it wants to live there and that's, Makes it Aww. happy. <laughs> it's all about happiness. The colours are making you happy. Yes. It's all good. <gasps> mm. They're and like it's that. such a pretty pattern. I'm going to get rid of this thread because that's annoying. It's come together remarkably quickly. <laughs> yeah, really quickly. So, and then I'm just going to sew these together. So I'll just do the trick of um, butting uh, the seam up. Yes. So that's why I wanted it going towards... Um, the wing so that we can do that and then I'll pin that in place. Oh, love this. So if you love your circles, you've got your templates in the back. So you can you can photocopy those or you can get a circle cutter. It's not the you know No. All oh the... and and all the template plastic. Yeah. Because you've got various different shapes and sizes in there. If you're doing circles, I get a circle cutter, but you do have other shapes, obviously, to use in there. There are more templates going through there. But these are the sorts of things that you will be making. Now, bundle, the, the, the idea behind bundle was just what can you do with fat quarters? That was what this was all about. Uh, so all of these designs are all about your fat quarters. There they are. 
Yes. Come on, do you know what's so silly? I didn't even realise that. But did you not? <laughs> it's oh. called by the bundle. Yeah. And it didn't even occur to bundle. me that it yeah. was a bundle Isn't of it? fat quarters. But could you imagine that in Cave? Oh, incredible. Cave and white. Done. Beautiful. Uh, so you've got all your templates in the back, so you don't need anything else. Off you go. Of course, if you want to make life easy, then you can. Look at that. Beautiful. Lots of you with this in the basket. Check it out. Even if you just want to look at the pictures like I like to, um, or if you're actually going to make it like Lucy likes to, <laughs> then uh, happy days. Happy days. Thank you for everyone that's been involved today, by the way. Lots of um, lovely messages and things yeah. for easy as Sunday. Uh, is it wet out there? Is it raining? I oh, don't is it know. actually checking it out? It's done nothing. Since we moved out, it's done nothing but rain. Oh. Is that why? Yeah. <laughs> that's not nice. So this final really seam I'm um, pressing open just to reduce um, some of the bulk. And then if I can quickly, can we get... The, um, could you show the quilt in the book? Would you mind? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look, this is the page before. Look, check out that sunset. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Uh, that's the quilt. Would you, which bit okay. would you like? Do you uh, want that page or next quilt page? Quilt layout, yeah, that, that one. So you can see again, it was uh, similar to the quilt that I made yesterday morning, that it's set on point. So it's sewn into um, rows and set on point and you need to cut triangles out of your oh, backing okay. fabric as right. well for the edges. So you've got the larger, um, larger triangles uh, at the edge of the rows and then smaller triangle um, for the corner. But obviously all the measurements are in the book. <coughs> Hooray. Now, let, should we add this in over here? Because I think yes. you can mix and match your cave. Yeah, I don't you think can. you mind. And you wouldn't, I mean, another thing is you don't have to set, set them on point if you don't want to. You could have them be square next to each other. So if you wanted them, I don't know, should we pop that into there? Oh, I love that. Oh. Look at the peach on that, that like stripe of peach. It's mm. so pretty. It's like that sunset. It is, isn't it? Beautiful. And so then by the time that you've got over here... Oh, hello, butterflies. There's the grey ones. <laughs> Use your imagination for the white. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. Gorgeous. And I mean, that would be beautiful. Wouldn't that be lovely as a display in a child's room or oh, yes. something? Or a cushion, big cushion <sighs> would be lovely. I mean, that block is 15 inches. No, that's... is it 15? No, it's not. I'm... That was the last one. So that's 12. 12 inches. So that's 12 inches. So if you put a border on, you know, you could get easily cut a border out of the um, fabric in the but you know, have a border on there and that'd be a cushion <gasps> on its so own. So the green was that one and that one. Ding, ding, ding. The red, that one and that one. I'm just going to have a little play and show what it would look like if it was all red. Whee feels different, doesn't it, again? It does. It's beautiful, though. But it is nice that you've got different colours. You know, the, the um, green has a bit of blue in, the red's got purple. There's a, it always tends to be a bit of purple. There's there always in... a crossover. So yeah. You, you can... So they do... They would mix really nicely. Mm. You're just having a play. Yeah, I can't help it. It's just so beautiful. And these... I'm just so... You can't help it either, can you? No, oh, I just she's can't going help for it. it. She's going for well, I'm it. I'm just going to sew them together just to show how easy it is. Because actually... Oh, yes. Oh, it's just going to be gorgeous. So we can just make a circle from that, can't we? <laughs> Should I press it? Press, please, yeah. And then I hang on, press... let me just oh. see. That'll be that way, won't it? Yeah. 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 But you can play, that's the beauty. So if you, um, you know, if you, if you want to do circles, if you want to do these gorgeous butterflies, it's entirely up to you. But what an easy way to do your circles. The book is 
15.95. Lots of you got that in your basket. Please check out. Don't miss out. Hey, hey. So when you've got that precision, so towards the spots. Towards the spots. Mm -hmm. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. No, hang on, sorry. Towards the blooms, please. Aye, aye. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've got that precision with the, with the um, circle cutter then, you know that it's going to go together so easily. But this would be lovely, you could just applique this onto something. Beautiful. Couldn't you? You've got a big circle. Thank you for taking care of me. <laughs> I've got time. So then, yeah. I've <laughs> <laughs> got time. I can do it. I can do it. Okay, so we've done those. So, oh, yes. Yeah, so, I, We're so gonna be on always point. I try to put the, um, you know, one seam going one way and one the other way because it just makes matching your points so simple. So I have one going one way and one going the other way and I just close it up like that. I can feel it with my finger and then I pin diagonally. Oh, okay. Because that's the way I've found. You're on the bias, aren't you, a lot of the time on some of these edges, so just... Yeah, I mean, I just, it's just a case of not, don't pull, don't be afraid of bias edges, just don't pull them. Just don't yank them around. And then, it, you, you know, you'll be fine. It takes a light hand and I know it looks like I'm, you know, sewing really quickly or, you know, and I do sew very quickly. But it might look like I'm putting my hands on things, but I'm not pull you know, I'm never pulling. It's literally um very, very light touch when I'm when I'm um, holding the fabric. It's a guide, isn't it? It's just a gentle guide. Yeah, just literally guiding. It. And actually because you've got that quarter of an inch foot with the guide on there, you you've already got a helping hand. Yeah, and see that's what make it does make it so quick to do that. Mm. Excited, I can't wait to see. Do I have to press before we do a big reveal? Quick, quick, yes, quick quick, 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 quick. Do you want it open? Um, just, you can go to the side, it'll be okay. You sure? Yeah, I probably would do it open. <laughs> you would. For speed. Now, yeah. upstairs are saying that's not gonna be the perfect circle, but it will be by the time that you've sewn it in with yes. a seam allowance. Yes. So you can, so I would, um, thank you. Look at that. My preference is needle turn, really, when it comes to a plique. So I would... That's a bit special, isn't it? You know, needle turn that over yeah. and just look lovely. But that's what, it's nice to be able to do, uh, you know, have some parts come together quite quickly and easily mm. and then just spend a bit of time, you know, doing a bit of hand sewing and, and putting that together. <coughs> the colours, absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm just wondering what happens if we put it in the middle of that quilt. Yeah, or you could make a border of those, I was thinking, as well. Yeah. If you were doing a big, a big quilt, it would look nice as a border. What happens if it goes there? Lucy, thank you so much. Very well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, right. Let me take the book. I'm out of here. Thank you. All right. Mwah. Thank you. When are you back? I don't know. Soon. <laughs> good. Soon. Hooray. <laughs> she will be back. We'll get her back. She's good. We'll get her back. Yay! Uh, this is the book which has inspired us this morning. This is by, um, by the bundle. So I hope you have bought the bundles so that you can then play with by the bundle. And here it is, 15.95. Exquisite is what, uh, what comes to mind with here. So the photography alone stand out, but then broken down really easily to give you a full explanation as to how to make these quilts, which is just gorgeous. Mm. So you always get an inspirational shot, a breakdown of exactly how to do it, and then a, f a f sort of a, a full, a full-on photo so that you can see exactly what the finished thing is going to look like. There we go. So that's the book there, fifteen ninety-five. Let's have a look at the green cave. This was the one that Lucy did um, her initial butterflies out of, but you can mix and match your caves because you've got the colours coming on. When you've got all the colours, you can mix in even more. So there they are. You've got your cabbage there. Mm. 21.95 DLRW28 is your code to get those. Uh, blue one, very popular. 21.95 again. There we go. Twenty-one ninety-five.
grab your blue. Blue's been very popular today. And then the most popular, though, has overtaken the blue is the red. And, uh, you know, yes, yes, this is, this is for why. Uh, because I'm going to open up this one again because it is my absolute, absolute oh, gorgeous favourite. So this is the size of your fat quarters when you get them. Look at that. Oh, could you imagine a pocket handkerchief in that? Ooh. Actually, just anything like that. You know, um, my tablet stands that we made yesterday, I've just made one out of this. Ooh. Ooh. Because they were originally designed to be a fat quarter uh, project. So if you're grabbing these and you've got a fat quarter left over, treat yourself. Why not? Uh, now, we've got... A little promotion for anybody who's rummaging around on that website. If you spend on the web, in our web shop, £20 or more, then you will get, with using the code FREE1, a free pair of pinking shears, one per person, and this is just while stocks last. And this promotion is only available today and tomorrow, finishes at midnight tomorrow. So the 1st and 2nd of October, just while stocks last. So get in quick, don't miss out on this. Everybody loves a free pair of scissors, right? Yes, but that's just on web stuff. Now, Irene is going to be back. Da, 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 da. Um, but she can only demo the magnetic bowl and the thread, the automatic needle threader, uh, because the magnetic telescopic pen has gone. So well done if you managed to get a hold of those. The others are going super fast, though. But she's going to be back after this short break to show us exactly why these sell out time and time again. See you in just a couple of minutes. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our sewing quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a hem stitch. Now a hem stitch is just a row of small slanting stitches that are used to secure your hem. So in this case I'm pretending that this is going to be the bottom of a trouser leg. I'm first going to take my needle through the single hem. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail before I place that back down. So then I'm going to do a double stitch. Now this is just where you sew over the same area twice so you're creating a a knot. So that's one, two. So that's securing my thread now. And now we can begin doing our hem stitch. So you're going to need to bring your needle in at a diagonal. So you want to pick up a few stitches from what would be the trouser leg before then going into your hem. So you can make this stitch a little bit bigger and then repeating that process again at a diagonal. I'm gonna be picking up a few stitches of the trouser leg, and then we can pick up more of the single hem. So I'm making these stitches super big so you can see what I'm doing, but when you do this at home, you'd want to make these a little bit closer together. So there's my row of hem stitching and if I just turn this over you can see they're very small stitches on the other side so if you're doing this in a normal thread and not a thick thread you won't be able to see those at all. The leaves are golden, the air is crisp, and all along the hedgerows, animals are bedding down for hibernation. Before they settle into their winter slumber, this pair of adorable hedgehogs will be paying a visit to the Sewing Quarter studio, courtesy of Joe Carter. This Tuesday, Joe will unveil this brand new soft toy design. With a handy kit and plenty of expert guidance, you can make your own hedgerow hedgehogs at home. So tune in on Tuesday the 3rd of October at 8am and find out how it's done. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78.
everywhere, Irene, everywhere. We've just moved house and my husband puts <laughs> back together our furniture and there are bolts and screws everywhere. Apparently, it doesn't need all the bolts and screws it had originally. Apparently, furniture is fine with, you know, almost all of them, but it means that I have a bowl full of random screws and bolts. I can't throw them away because, you know, things wobble because obviously they do need all the bolts and screws. This is perfect. Irene's back on the show, ladies and gents. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and she's brought us brilliantness, as you always do. We know when you, when you knock on our door in the morning, we're like, oh, what's Irene brought us today? This, a magnetic bowl for your pins and needles. Not just your pins and needles. Look, for that man drawer. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. But also, for your pins and needles, if you bought pins from the earlier hour, and it's just brilliant. Look at that. Irene, why does this work so well? Because of the magnet. <laughs> Quite simple. <laughs> it's that easy. <laughs> ask, a, ask a simple question. It's there, big, isn't it? I see what you mean. Yeah, big, big magnet at the bottom. Yeah. A big fat magnet and then a metal bowl. A metal bowl. There you go. Just, just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, what we discovered earlier, we have... I'm going to hoik this up. Now, if anybody is um, stuck for storage, of course, I used to have my, my sewing desk in front of the radiator, and then I had spare radiator. Yeah, I do. Done. Done. <laughs> this is excellent. Done. Love it. Shame we don't have more. We could have decorated. Oh, yeah, I could have done. It's just excellent. Yeah. These are quite attractive. Too, aren't they? For under five pounds, what a handy way to store your pins, yeah, your needles sure. and everything else. Safe as well. All done. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Brand new today. Irene's brought these in with her today. They look. They're, they're, Actually, look, they magnetise together as well, don't they? Now, you brought us as well um, the retractable magnifying pen, uh, magnetic pen, and it sold out first hour. That's gone. Whew. Not good enough. <laughs> so if you want these, basically buy them. You've been selling these for, you reckon, what, 15 years? Yeah, 15 years. And the ladies do love them, I have to say. Well, when something works... Know. And is really useful like this and durable. And this is something that once you've got it, you've got it. You know, there's nothing, there's no working parts to break, moving parts to break, are there? It just is. And so there you've got them. Just have them lined up. Brilliant. Have enough, I suppose. Um, I actually have a, a, my, my grandmother's old Singer sewing machine mm -hmm. that just basically a straight stitch and a zigzag, but it does it so well. But it's metal. There we are. On there. Brilliant. Now, Irene, of course, what you are always known for, brilliantly here, is your needle threader. When we um, first started the channel, our buyer at the time was saying, you've got to see this lady. Like, there are needle threaders and there are needle threaders. And we did bring to wear a different needle threader. We, mm. And then we found you. And we're like, no, 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 we need you because this is amazing. How long have you been selling this? 20-something years. Really? Quite old, you know. <laughs> yeah, but, well, at least 20 years. But when something works and works well... Exactly. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yep. How does it work? Because this would be one of the gadgets. I inherited all of my, my grandmother's sewing bits and bobs and so many things I didn't know what they did. If this was in there, I'd be like, I don't know. Many people have inherited them, funnily enough. They found really? them and they didn't know what they were because there was no mention of what it is. So, can we show you? Yes. Yes, please. I love this. Two sides to it. One side for uh, smaller needles, which is the white side, the one with the white cap, and the other side for with the black cap for the large needles. So white is wee, black is big. You got it. Yes. So, for health and safety reasons, which we didn't mention, we suggest that we put the thread first so as not to stab ourselves with the needle. Oh, yeah. Health yeah. and safety. <laughs> Health and safety. We know All of that. You'll only do it once anyway, so. and then you'll work it out for yourself. Now, needle, we don't know which way we're putting it in, but just drop it in. And oh, in terms yeah, of... Uh, the direction of I, the eye. I end first, first, but 
which way Most round the eyes facing. Who knows? <laughs> Magical mystery tour. And then I'll show you on this one. As we do it, look, it's that little bar turns the needle around oh, to find on. the eye. So that is going to let's get let's get this. There you go. Can you see just there? There it is. And that will spin that needle around as it comes. We Clever hope. stuff. <laughs> Weaving with a sound effect. <laughs> and usually first time. So it's sliding. And there's a tiny um, loop there. Yep. And the metal bar. Mm -hmm. Release it. We then take the loop, pull it through until the shorter side comes through. This is for single thread, mm -hmm. incidentally. And then <coughs> take out Done. the needle. Done. Oh, again, again, again. I love this. I, do, I, can't, I can't tire of this. It's just brilliant. Now, if you want to be sure. Yeah, it can occasionally miss. I mean, nothing is infallible. And bearing in mind, it has to put the thread through and turn the needle. At the so same time. Two drops, yeah. yeah. So if you really want to be sure, then you can hold that across. And if the needle doesn't come up, it means that the bar has actually engaged, okay. you know, through the eye. And there, so that's 100% threaded. Definitely. But having definitely said done. that, it's usually done. Oh, now when time. you pull it through like that, you've got a double thread. I quickly made it into single. <laughs> but shall we do double? Yeah, go on, let's do double. <laughs> so for single, it's pulling one end through, basically. Yeah. yeah. And for double, equal length at either side. And then... This time, just pulling the loop enough to make that mm -hmm. secure and then taking the needle. And, and that is goes. properly double. Now, you said to me cross stitches love this because then, look, when you start your sewing, you can just go in and then just loop through there, through there, and you're, you're good, ready to go. Yeah. So, for cross stitches, of, absolutely perfect. But cross stitches aren't always going to go with such fine thread. Well, they tend to use um, multiple strands yes. more than anything, yeah? Okay. And is this up for that challenge? I do hope so. <laughs> we of all course. do. Of we course. all do. So just for effect, shall we put a little bit of... A little bit of gold? Glitter, yeah. Why not? Why not? Um, renowned for being tricky to thread, the gold. It is, yeah. So... Just drop it in, just like that. Any perfect. Okay. And then this usually only one or two come through. There's one look. Okay. So I'm pulling that one. Mm. So pink is through. Through, and then realign the thread. Do it again. Oh, blue's through. Blue's through. So that leaves the nasty one now. The nasty <laughs> one. That beautiful gold thread, <laughs> aka the nasty one. There we are. Hey, Shall look at that. Shall we check it or we just think it's done, don't we? We oh, think, don't. we know, no, look done. at that. That is so impressive. And that's why this sells out time and time again. Look at that. Three strands of thread through the tiniest of needle eyes. That is incredible. That is so impressive. Just look at that. There is absolutely no way Absolutely no way that I could thread that by eye. Just not happening. I would struggle yeah, to thread that 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 gold one, actually, to be honest, because mm. the ends on those, um, because it's a co like a coiled thread. Well, look, look at the... This is the end of it. Let me show that. I mean, that's not, that's not easy because you have the metallic bit that's wound around that inner core, which is why it's so difficult, why it sort of frays as exactly. you try. Now, I've got a stock warning. What do we need to check out on? You have to check out which one, the bowl or the needle threader? The needle threader, please. Well, actually, both. <laughs> so if everybody checks out at the moment, less than 30 left. Fewer than 30 <laughs> left. And we started with a lot this morning. We don't like, oh, we do like to hear that, but <laughs> it's bittersweet. Yes, it is, kind of is, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant. More, more. show me more. So we've yes. talked about the metallic thread. Yes. So I would recommend that you double that because it's, it's very springy. Okay. And uh, this is on its own. Oh, that wretched 
fluff is everywhere. There, yeah, you've got blue fluff all over the shop. Oh, I don't like that. <coughs> so, one loops come through, hopefully, yep. yeah? So I'm just going to quickly check it, do that checking again. So holding the bar across and making sure that the needle doesn't yep. move. And then pulling that through, we have double. Yay! So if we wanted that single naturally, you pull yeah. one end. So that's double, and that's just the gold on its on its own. Fabulous. Yeah. Cannot get enough of this. Everybody should have one in their home. Whether you are a sewer or not, you should have one. If you are sending kids off to university, send them with a little sewing kit and one of these because they're the first thing people say, I can't even thread the needle. Me. Yeah. Now you can. Now you've got no excuses. That's my I don't sew voice. Yes, I, I, I must say I do hear that. Yeah, and you do, hear you hear it, don't I you, hear time and time again. Oh, you do sewing, I can't even thread a needle. Well, no excuses, love, now you can. Everybody can thread a needle now, can't they? No um, if everybody checks out, ten left. Hang so, on, I can't I'm even sorry, see I, this one. Well, I was getting it lined up first because it's the invisible thread. And it's a bit lively. It is lively, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, dear. <laughs> Shall we try? Give it a go. Yeah, no, no, it's through. Yeah. Actually, I haven't <laughs> made an awfully good job of that. You know why? Because it's got tied up in here. OK, so what can do we, we do? talk about that yes. little lid now? I have actually don't use that at all, but aesthetically it looks better with it on. Now, the reason for me taking it off is the thread is trapped in there and there's actually a groove because the machine's made in two halves. Okay. So I'm just pulling it through. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, so I'm going to do. Sorry, you sorry. had um, you had a lady come to you and say, "Did you know?" The customer showed us that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So show us what she discovered because this is brilliant. Well, she was actually in the middle of, in the process rather of sewing, mm -hmm. and then it came unthreaded. And of course, although it would thread the needle, yes, you can't bring it through. Yes. By definition, because it's attached. Yes. So by taking that little cute cap off, we can. So needle in there. Yep. Everything the same. Check it if you wish, but it's usually done first time. Pulling that through, and then this time, look, I tend to turn it on its side and then get hold of the two so pieces gather of thread everything. and the needle and give it a tug, and it's coming through the gap there. Ah. Yeah. Excellent. That's yeah. excellent. Yeah. And then look, you are good to sew on. There you go. You're all good, ready to carry on. Da -ba -da -ba, da -da -da. Whatever it is that you're doing. And off you go. Continue your project as you were. Excellent. OK, so that's the thin side. And you can put everything through from your, um, your springy threads all through invisible thread. to invisible threads. You can put multiple layers through a tiny, tiny eye. Amazing. Now let's have a look at the uh, big black end. OK, so that's, like I said, a thicker bar and right. lower down. So naturally a bigger needle. Yep. Slide the button. Yes. Assume that it's done. Yes. Don't test it. Yes. <laughs> Pulling that through and take the needle. Perfect. Or so check it if you wish. Now, say I've made something beautiful like this for Christmas. Thank I can you. now easily thread this through. And sew it in. Oh, I Perfect. have some of that, but not in red. There we go. Incredibly low on stock. Please check out those baskets. Don't miss out on this. So that's actually a uh, silk ribbon. Satin's a bit stiff, though, to okay. go through. It's a bit wonderful on, on silk oh, ribbon. Beautiful. Look at that done. Now, you can weave. You can weave that through your projects. It's mm -hmm. going to be beautiful. Now, you've got um, something that is pretty but also pretty nasty to thread. Yeah, for sure. I don't really know what it's called apart from pretty nasty to thread. I really don't know. Comes from India, though. I can oh, tell does you it? that much. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's like a, um, a metallic cord. So again, if you were to look at the edges, they fray really easily, but it's multiple. I mean, it's even got spring in it. Oh, yeah, here we go. So you can see on this end just how difficult that would be to, to try and thread. You're going to do it, though, aren't you? Yeah, I've picked oh. up an upholstery needle just... 
Just Making it. it even <laughs> harder. We're not even going with a straight needle. Well, yeah. But you wouldn't want to put that through an upholstery needle, but that's just to show that it... Look at that. It's going through. And yeah. that is why, ladies and gentlemen, this is almost sold out. Please grab it quickly. Five ninety-five, just amazing. Um, I've told you the dilemma of the rhinoceros and his flailing limbs that are coming off. Uh, it is made. He is made. Sorry, he's a boy rhino. Uh, was made with a, a double knit. He's a, a, a thick double knit. Imagine threading really the cute. needle. This is why I haven't done it because threading the needle is an absolute pain. So bigger eye, of course. Bigger eye, okay. A much bigger eye. Okay. Considerably bigger eye. And this is when it's at its worst and it's still okay. Just really feeding that through though and make sure that it all comes before you attempt to pull ah. it. Because we don't want to risk... Um, I love your honesty. This is when it's yeah. at its worst. This is the hardest <laughs> that it will get and it still does it brilliantly. Brilliantly. Yeah. So just... You know, really, there will be a time, look there, it looks as if it's not come, there it is. Oh no, it is, it is. Yeah. And that's double knitting. Yeah. So tapestry wool, of course, is much thinner, so. Beautiful. Better. That's absolutely excellent. And of course, because you've got multiple threads, whether you're doing, because we had cross stitch on the other day, some beautiful yarns with that. <coughs> and you know, if you're doing anything with, anything with multiple, multiple layers, it's, it's gonna go through an difficult. absolute dream. Uh, brilliant. Thank you so much, Irene. You bring us brilliant gadgets. Thank you. <laughs> like this one, brand new today. Our other brand new went in the first hour, so we're not bringing that back for you today because we haven't got any more. Let me, uh, oh, here we go. So low in stock on these as well. These are your magnetic bowls. Whopping great big magnet on the bottom, which means that you can actually attach that onto your radiator, onto a metal Ooh, trolley sure. or anything like that. Or if you've got an old sewing machine like me, you can pop that on the side of your sewing machine. Bolts, needles, pins, needles, anything like that. You had five P's. In, I did in, them on yeah. the last one I did, yeah. Because you sell these for four ninety five, so that's five p change. When you give us your five pound note, thank you very much. Uh, perfect, absolutely perfect. Even your larger items held securely in here. <coughs> it's not a needle. Actually, I could do with one of those for some of the toys that you need to change the batteries on. Really tricky. And again, you know, maybe you do all sorts of different things. Irene, thank you. Absolutely fabulous. Just wonderful. Thank you. Three brilliant items, and you said earlier, I've got some more I can bring you. I think I can. <laughs> some more brilliant gadgets. Yeah, we have some years for one, so. so we'll be back. We'll hopefully. have a word with our buying team and see what you can bring us next time. Everyone should have a thread, a threader, and everybody should have a magnetic bolt. I mean, look, you've got that, you've got it for life, haven't you? Yeah, for sure. There's nothing brilliant. to go wrong with it. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank too. you so much. Right now, the other thing that we need, um, because it is getting to that time of day, year, year, um, is lighting. Good lighting. So thank you so thank much. You. I'll, if you're still here, I'll have a cup of tea with you after. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, over here, whew, yes. We've got the lights. Now, in our studio, our lights are either on or off, so I can't dim lights, but I wanted to show you the three different ones that we've got for you today. Uh, which would you like to start with, Producer Paul? Let's go, let's go, yeah. Uh, let's go big or go home. Now, this I love for two reasons. Firstly, I, no, I lie, there are more than two reasons. Firstly is its sleek design. It looks fabulous in your home. It doesn't scream, just a craft um, craft lamp. It is sleek and fabulous. So say you're sat in your favorite chair, you can just bring it around. Now you've got two goosenecks on this. So you can go from really low and you can angle that down to exactly where you need it, or you can angle it up or have it up higher and do it like that. So this is all metal, it's got, hang on, it's on top of all the wires, which is why it's wobbling. And so easy to adjust. Under here, we tried to count, I mean, this has been on for a while. This has got um, around, I think we counted nearly a hundred bulbs in there. I mean, it's just crazy. But they're LED, super light, but also um, one of your most environmentally friendly um, bulbs that you can get as well. So 149.95, it's a thing of beauty to have in your home. Touch on and off under there. 
The boys love it because they all think it looks like a lightsaber. There you go, bing, 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 bing. But the thing that I also love about this is that if you're bringing this down over your work, look at the width of light that you've got coming down. Now, this is used by a lot of nail technicians. You've seen some of the beautiful intricate nail art. You know, they would just have that over the edge of their desk and to show that. So if you are crafting, if you are stitching, if you are sewing and you need good light, Save your eyes, get yourself something that is fabulous. $149.95, this is just a thing of beauty in your house anyway. Looks great, functional, function and form. That's what we want, isn't it? Function and form, and that's what this has in abundance. P-I-Z-F-41, what a lovely piece of kit. Stylish, and it's brushed chrome finished as well, so if you've got more of a modern type home, it doesn't look out of place. It looks absolutely brilliant. And of course, you can just twizzle it round, put it wherever you need it to be, up, down, that bit. If you want it really, really low, really high, if you just want it up like that, whoosh, whoosh, lightsaber. Uh, then you can, there it is. Sturdy base, brush chrome, looks fab. There. So it's got all of that daylight light, which means that you can get your perfect color matching. Normal bulbs, they'll give you a yellowy light. It distorts your color uh, completely. You know, they're, they're just, there's no two ways about it. If you try matching color under artificial light, you're just not going to get it right. And what, you're, what you thought was one color is going to be, uh, going to end up being something different. So if I just show you, say, something like this under the studio light, and bearing in mind that we have very bright lights in the studio as it is, but if I then put it under there, can you see it gives you, that's your daylight. So that's going to give you the correct light. There it is without correct light, without correct light. There you go. Now, that's, that is the big. Uh, now, 295 PMP, so it doesn't matter if you've already spent with us today, you will only pay 295 PMP per day. Hooray! You could buy six of these, 295 PMP. It costs us a lot more than that, but don't worry about that. That's on us, not you. 2.95 PMP per day. It's calculated everything that you spent throughout the day as long as you've checked out your basket. It's all calculated and at midnight, we just apply the PMP. Done. Done. Now, this one over here is a slightly different affair. So it's white. With this one, you can take out this and have it as just a table lamp if you want. So all of this here is what we call a gooseneck. Here we go. So all of this is your gooseneck here and you can bend. I mean, look at that. Woohoo! More like a swan's neck being in white, isn't it? So you adjust exactly where you want this. Turn it off, turn it on, easy. You've got 1.75 magnification through here. 27 LEDs around the edge. Again, not going to heat up. I can move that. I can get hold of that. I can move that around. So you can have that. Maybe you're reading in the evening. My husband likes to watch movies. To be honest, half of them aren't to my taste. So I sit there and I'll sew or I'll do something. But I can then have that on my lap. I can read. I can sew. I can do whatever I need to do. And you've got that magnification. 1.75 magnification. 27 bulbs around there, 27 LED lights all through there. Not only that, but if you take out this pole here, can I just pop this up on here? So I just want to show you, whoop, no, it's not gonna reach. Here, you can pop all your little knickknacks just on there. It's got like a gentle sloping bowl, so you can pop little bits and bobs. I like to think snacks for when you have that just on your desk as a desk lamp. So you just take out the metal bit and then you've got that as an option. So you can have it as a standard or you can have it stood there. Imagine that over the side as you sat down, knitting, sewing, whatever it is that you're doing. Beautiful reading lamp. Maybe, maybe you do jewelry, beading, anything like that. Absolutely perfect. So that is $79.95 and this is what you're getting. So you can see you've got your standard and then you've got your desk. That's your two options there. Again, really environmentally friendly bulbs in there, non-heating. 
Now, the final one, the final one here, anyway, um, I'm going to take this, which is the wire. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't really, I can't really be bothered with that. <sighs> Doesn't matter. I can now take this anywhere I want. Anywhere I like. Anywhere I like, over here. Maybe I might go and sit out there. Don't mind. I might go and, um, yeah, let's take it over here. Now, with this, yes, you've got the gooseneck, so you can adjust. But what you'll notice with this one as well is that no wires. Somewhere in here is something rechargeable. I don't know where it's, I don't, I don't know. Um, other ones from this company have, um, have a battery pack. I, I, no, I don't know, I don't know. I, I can't tell you. I just know that it is rechargeable so that you can take it wherever. You're not hampered by having that wire. That's why, what's one of the many reasons that I love, love this one. Now, I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna turn this off for a second because I'm going to unscrew this here. Let me just unscrew that there, and I'm going to just, whoop, take that, gently put that down there. I'm going to unscrew that, put that there. And then I could put that in there and have it as a desk lamp. I could do that. Or I might just want to clamp it somewhere. So then, and let's make sure I've got that unscrewed, pop that back in. So now, I can have it as a floor lamp, I can have it as a desk lamp, and I can now take that anywhere I like and clamp that anywhere. Summer, do you remember the summer? Sometimes we have a summer in this country and sometimes we might want to be, I know it's a controversial thought, but say we have a summer and you want to be outside in your garden furniture, sewing away into the evening with a little glass of Chardonnay, then just clamp that onto the side of your garden furniture and you have your light. Isn't that fab? Now, what I would say is put that back on there so you don't lose it. Otherwise, you're going to have to put that into your magnetic pot of metal things that you're not quite sure what they do, uh, if you manage to get one in time. Here's the thing. This also, and I'm going to turn this up. So you've got two times magnification on your five-inch um, lens there. Uh, that's ophthalmic style uh, quality lens there. If I spin this around and turn that up like that, what I want you to notice is this. One, two, three, off. The other side, one, two, three, off. That is your daylight. It's touch sensitive, super easy. Now, that is, a, that is your daylight. Okay, so daylight will give you your perfect color matching. That's what that one does. Now, if you mix that in with a little bit of blue, then what you suddenly get is a softer light, but this blue is softer on your eyes, but it's great if you're reading. It's great if you're doing anything like that. It gives you a soft, bright light to work towards. Now, if I take out the daylight, but increase the blue, what that does is give me the whitest of lights. So if I'm working on something truly intricate, then that is the purest white of lights that I can get to work under. Don't color match under that. Color match under your natural daylight. If you want a softer light, bring that in. And then if you want to have the, the real stark light to work under so that there's no mistakes made, you use that. You have three different options here with your colors, okay? Not only that, but you also have your clamp. Take that anywhere. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Um, and then or have it as a desk lamp or have it as a standard. I'm just going to keep that there. Now, one more lamp to show you. Producer Paul loves this one. And that's this. Now, basically, 
I don't know if I can take, yeah. What you will do, and you get two of these, you do get two of these, is you peel off the back. It's just a sticker. Peel that off, stick that onto the side of your sewing machine. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, so if you've, you've got two, so you can stick it, you know, in other places as well, just slide that down onto there. Mini gooseneck. Ta-da! Brilliant. I think it was Angela Atwood said that she was working at a show with one of these, and when they turned it off, it was like there was no light. So it's, look at that, it's going to really give you that spot. And again, not hot, not hot. I can cover that, that is not hot. So you can absolutely get onto that spot. You know, my, my old Singer sewing machine, it's 50, 60 odd years old. It doesn't have a great light and that light heats up. I would rather take out that bulb and attach one of these to the side because it's not gonna get hot. Brilliant. We don't have a lot of stock left of this one. It's £27.50. What a great present. What a great present. If you've got more than one machine, don't worry because you get two of those. So check out your basket. Just sits on the side of your machine there. That's if you want it there. That, you know, it might be that you don't. It might be that actually you want that by the side of your bed and you want it as a bedside light for spot reading then you could do that. It doesn't have to be just for sewing. It was originally made for your sewing machine lamp, but lots of different uses if you want it. Or if you just want it on your craft desk or your sewing desk, or maybe how many of you have got bad lighting in your kitchen? Yes? So why not pop it on there? And then when you're looking at your, um, at your recipe books, there it is. And then you can just light up. So you just stick that on there and then you can just angle that down. So if you've got a dark corner in your house, it's an unobtrusive way of just getting that light exactly where you need it to be. £27.50, CRZF92. Lots of you with it in your baskets. Please check out those baskets. Do not miss out on these. Now, um, lots of you have been asking for lamps and lights. There you go. That's what that one looks like. Um, Sandra, what's Sandra got to say? Are we doing lamps? Oh, yes, Sandra, are we doing lamps? Yes, here we go, lamps. ta -da! A bit of confusion. Oh, okay, so... Okay, uh, Lorraine says, I've placed an order for more than £20 but cannot redeem the voucher for the free scissors. Please, can you help me with this, please? Lorraine, if there is anything in your basket adding up to £20 from today's shows, from on the TV, then the offer doesn't work. It has to be web only. Okay, so if you've popped a lamp in, it's not going to work, okay? It has to be stuff that isn't on the show. This is so because so many of you just buy off the show and you don't realise that we've got a whole haberdashery and a whole fabric shop online. There's a whole website full of, full of goodies. So just check the T's and C's, Lorraine. Just make sure that you have got £20 worth of stuff that we haven't shown you on the shows today and that aren't on the shows tomorrow. They shouldn't be available to be sold anyway because they'll be put in a pot to the side ready to sell tomorrow. Um, but that's all that you just need to make sure of. All right. And that isn't going to include your P&P &P either. Okay, so it's £20 worth of goodies. All T's and C's online. Just have a little read through. All right, hope that helps. Stock warning. Whoop, whoop. The sewing machine lamp already, if everybody checks out. Dun, dun, dun. One left. What? Okay, you have to check out. Gosh, more in your basket than you have available now. And in Cheshire says, hi, Tash, with the offer, does it include things that you have on today's show but ordered online? No, 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 no. If it's been on, the, if it's been on telly, then uh, it won't be in the offer. So it's just on stuff you haven't seen on the telly. Go and have a rummage. But do check out your basket. The more of you with this sewing machine lamp in your basket than we have stock of. Yeah! It's brilliant. It is brilliant. As are our books. Should we have a look at some books? Um, I'm going to go for the complete machine embroidery book. In fact, let's have a look through here. This is the complete machine embroidery book. So I'm going to... Ah, now, okay, case in point, right? 
you've got a problem with your machine. Let me just show, let's just turn that on. This is your daylight. And here, I don't know if I can just, can you see anything there? There you go. For example, so you can do that. But then let me show you the difference there. That's your bright white. If you want to soften it, then you add in there. There we go. So you've got, um, again, with the lamp, just to reiterate here, let me just show you these again. That, that is your daylight. That is your colour matching light. Okay. Now, if you want a softer light so that's easy on the eyes for reading, for close work, pop in one blue or two blues. Take out that and add in all of your blue and that is your purest white light. That's for intricate work. But if you want your daylight, then it's that one. It's that yellow, okay? Only two of these left, please. May and how many in the baskets? 13 of these or the other ones, the little ones? This one, wow, 54.95. Check out your baskets. There are only two left and 13 of you with it in the baskets. Gosh, we do have other lamps available. Brilliant. Now, okay, as we are, the complete machine embroidery manual. We'll bring that back for you if you miss out today. Here we go. I just don't know when. If you are into machine embroidery, this is your step-by-step -step guide. You've got troubleshooting. You've got all the different ways in which to play. If you're working with USBs, if you're working with CDs, how to do all this type of machine embroidery. Different ideas, different designs. So it's your step-by-step -step guide. If you've never worked with machine embroidery, but you really fancy giving it a go, grab the book, have a read through. I did this with an overlocker book because I really wanted an overlocker, but I was really scared of it. So I grabbed the book, read about it. Yep, absolutely, that is for me. Look at all of the different designs that you can do. These are your tools, these are your tips, these are the different things that you need that you can be doing, how to get the best out of it, the different threads to use. That's always one that we worry about. Am I using the right thread? What should I use? Should I use rayon thread? Should I use a metallic thread? Is the metallic thread okay in my machine? What can I do? These are all the questions that are answered in this book. And even just how to, um, how to just prep, ready to get the best out of it. It should be taught like a drum when you, when you um, put your material in. There we go, into your hoop. There we are. All of that and more for 12.95. So that is, and it is, I mean, it is the complete machine embroidery manual. Fabulous. Now, um, All Things Quilting by Alex Anderson. From the first step to the last stitch, we love this. So within this book, you get lessons on fabrics, color theory, rotary cutting, piecing, applique, paper foundation piecing, settings, borders, hanging sleeves, labels, and more. We say quite glibly on the show, yeah, no, just turn it into a wall hanging. Uh, how? How would I actually do that? It explains in this book, it explains how to make this into a wall hanging. You have something beautiful like that, you don't just want it in a bed, hidden away in a bedroom, put it on the wall, dress your wall, say it's painting them, doesn't it? Um, but how would I do that? It's all covered in here. Okay, so we're, hang, shall I update on those sellouts? Okay, just, we'll come back to this in one moment. I have to take this away. Well done if you managed to get this today. It has now sold out, so congratulations. I will just put that gently to one side. Uh, the other floor lamp still available, but please do check out your baskets if you want that. Uh, now, that one, still available if you want super stylish. And that really wide area that that's giving you to work underneath. So 149.95, PIZF41. But you have to check out your baskets for that one as well. These are going, it is that time of year. It absolutely is that time of year. Hurrah. Now, the other one that we've got for you has got that lovely gooseneck on it. 
and you can have this as a desk, as a table lamp, um, or you can have it as a floor lamp. It's got a lovely little gentle dishing in the base so that you can put your little bits and bobs on there. And it's a lovely elegant design, $79.95. So if you missed out on any lamps and you really need one today, grab that. There we go, ADZF04. 27 little lights in there and 1.75 magnification on that um, magnifying glass. Now, as we are, all things quilting. Here we go. So, as we were, right, hang on, we'd got a bit further on, hadn't we? So we'd got to colour, right, so I promise you lessons in colour theory, here they are, all about your patterns, what patterns to use, when to use them, uh, why would you, uh, drafting, oh, this is lovely, so if you've actually got a design, I was saying to Lucy earlier, sometimes I'm, I'm not great at following other people's patterns and designs, it's great, it shows you how to make your own. Rotary cutters, how to get the best from your rotary cutter. Different ways, different shapes to cut as well. It talks you all the way through all of those. It's a really comprehensive book, this one, for 19.95. All those different shapes, how they fit together, how to get the best work out of them. There you go. That was your wife's theme that we did today. Done. Oh, hang on. It's almost like that was Lucy's show, wasn't it? And then they did a curve. What was it? I've lost it. Oh. No, lost it, sorry. <coughs> There's so much in this book, excuse me. Lots of different things to play with. And then you move on to applique, how to get the best out of your applique, best effect. Hey, if you've got your circle cutter, yes! All these things that you can, of course, do. Perfect. It's all in there. Settings and borders. Putting it together, this is your setting and borders. Can make or break a quilt. Can't it, if you get it wrong. Look at that, just stunning. So different ideas, different hints, different techniques. Pick the one that's gonna suit your quilt and get quilting. Look at that, that almost looks like a floor, doesn't it? That looks like it should be in a Roman villa, <coughs> let alone on somebody's bed. Just wonderful. Whoa, look at that. So lots of different ways to play within this book. It explains it step by step really clearly. Wow! And then choosing and marking your design quilt. So how do you want to do it? What's the best way to do it? All covered in here. And then you get little design ideas. It's all there. Even, and this is what I love about this book, you even get a section on thimbles. Now we've had a few thimbles come through recently. We, had a, we bought you a Sashko needle um, on Tuesday. And, uh, and it's just that, hang on, how do I use these? What do I do with them? So there we go, all of those different ideas in there. 1995, incredibly compre comprehensive. Alex Anderson, I believe, has her own sort of YouTube channel or TV show. Um, and so she's very, very well known and just makes things really easy to understand. Yay, now. If you missed out on the desk lamp, here's another option. Now this is the Ultra Quad Spectrum desk lamp. We don't have it to hand in the studio, but again, you've got that four color tone, warm, natural, daylight or cool. So you can adjust it quickly. You see at top right, you've got all those um, touch sensitive buttons to adjust it. It's got that flexible neck. And again, a large surface area of light. Not all of us want the magnification. If you don't want the magnification, but you still want a great looking table lamp, then this is it, 49.95. KFGQ06. So if you missed out on the other desk lamp, I realized that went incredibly quickly. Then this is the one that we have that is also available. It just doesn't have the magnification, but what it does have are those different lights those touch sensitive buttons so it's easy to use and it's just going to sit and look really super stylish on your desk. From the same company, from Pure Light, KFGQ06, 49.95. Now, this one, this one, producer Paul, this one, this is the Great British Sewing Bee Fashion with Fabric. Do you want to see this one? It is a coffee table book, you're quite right. Now, 
Let me see. This one ba -ba 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 is, here we go. Um, I'm just trying to remember which series this one came from. Is this from two? Yeah, because you've got all the full-size pattern papers in the back. So you actually get sort of a separate book with this. Could I... Um, Oh, look, there's our lovely Paul. So we've had him on the show. Matt Chappell was the ultimate winner that year. Paul is lovely. Oh, he's absolutely lovely. So we've had him on the show. Uh, this is your great British sewing bee book. These were the Capri pants that Paul made on his very first show out of that beautiful botanical fabric. Oh. Just gorgeous. Now, I don't know if Amy can find us the, the book that comes with it, the full book of patterns. But you've got all of these different designs and then as a separate book, you get a full book of patterns. So it's like two books in one. Men's cargo shorts in there as well. Working with wool and other fabrics. Sometimes we steer clear of those. But why, when you can do it so beautifully? Maybe you want to work with a little bit of faux leather. Hmm, men's kilt. Why not? Why not? Um, your stretch fabric, again, another thing that we steer clear of. Aha, here it is. Now coming with this book. This is why I always think of it as two in one. Because comes this. Of course, actually getting out the pack clearly is tricky. But for all of those um, sewing designs in there, Let's just pop that there. I think it's five sheets of these. But look at them, they are huge. You are best to get some tracing paper or some freezer paper. It does look like the blueprint, doesn't it? Okay. Right. Where's the vault? Where's the diamond? I don't know. You've got here, this is your corset, top and bustier, piece two, cut two. So again, you would check out your sizing. It's got the sizings written down there. So grab those. And then you've got more of it. So it's color coded. And if you're ever confused as to which one it is, up on the top here, on this pattern sheet, jumpsuit and camisole top and casual trousers, kids board shorts and corset top and bustier. That is everything that is in here. That's why it's so busy. So what I would say, yes, it's color coded. Get yourself tracing paper, get yourself some freezer paper, whatever it is that you want to make your patterns out of. And don't cut these out, trace them. And trace them to your size because also, I love this, elephant ballerina trunk cut two. That was Paul's, wasn't it? The elephant ballerina, I think. So again, it's going to show you the grain line, which way your stretch should go. Just fab, absolutely fab. Um, have I got to fold that up? Oh, lordy, All right. Whilst I battle with this, come on, Paul, show us something. Show us that lamp again. Go on. Uh, now we're going to show you the floor lamp. Which floor lamp? Oh, the big one, the big metal one, the brushed chrome fancy schmancy one. Oh, it's a beautiful one. Yeah, producer Paul's got his eye on this one. You're a bit keen on this. So uh, 295 P and P, which is awesome. You'd pay more for parking in most places. And that's on, you know, you can buy as much as you like. We'll only ever charge you 295. Do you want to actually see that? Come on, can I just have a quick slurp of tea because I've got a bit of a sore throat? Thanks. Right. Okay. Here it is. Ta -da! Now, looks great, doesn't it? Look at the width here. Look at the width of light you're going to get. Uh, come here, bolt of fabric. Oh, no, I can't grab that. That's attached. What about that? Yeah. Can you see how, how wide that is in terms of what you can actually use that under? So that's giving you, you know, a whole desk 
space of light. So if you want your whole desk, this is the one that is super popular. Someone, someone's going to have to redo that design display. Sorry, I just grabbed it. Um, this is the one that is used a lot by nail technicians, things like that. People that want artists that are drawing, sketching. Maybe you make your own patterns. Maybe you're beading. Um, you know, this is for all sorts of different crafts. Maybe you just want it for reading because you want the whole page. Maybe you, you know, subscribe to magazines and you want the whole thing properly lit. Then you can sit down in your chair. You can pull it over. You'll see here you've got a gooseneck, mini gooseneck there, mini one down there, which means that you can go way, way down. So if you want to highlight something down there, you can do that. If you've got a tapestry, you're working on tapestry, maybe you want to do that. Maybe you want it up like that. Touch there. If you just want to play lightsabers, quite frankly, you know, vroom, vroom, then you can. Uh, but it does, so it goes from way, way down, way up, you've got that variation in light and it just looks great in this brush chrome. So 149.95, it is that time of year. We've had two sellouts of lamps already today. This is the other one. Now, this is another option that we have for you. So if you're after just a desk lamp, that's, but this for this one, you get four different types of light. So you get that soft yellow daylight. You also get that bright blue um, and you also get the white light as well. So you're getting different tones of light. All touch. Very nice and a light touch. Now, we almost have time, seriously. Gosh. Any book I want, I'm going A to Z. A to Z, what have I got over there? Oh, I've got embroidery techniques. A to Z, just because it was first to hand. We've got several in this A to Z and the encyclopedia type ranges and um, it, it is truly brilliant. It's 12.95. It starts you from the very beginning. It assumes no knowledge, which I love. Sometimes we just have a question that we think is a little bit silly it's not, even if it's just down to how to wash fabrics, different types of fabric to use, then you've got all of that in there. How do I mark my fabrics? How do I lay it out? It's all in there. What about applique? And again, all A to Z. So your binding's in there. But where they can take photographs, they have. Where they've needed to draw it, they've drawn it. And so you've got all sorts of different techniques. So this one, for example, is um, machine easing, French darts. So it's got everything from dressmaking, adding an elastic, everything that you need to know, literally the A to Z. There's your eyelets, um, back stitch. So even if you don't know how to do a stitch, it's got it really well photographed, really well. And so through you go, different things that you can make and then faced hems, all sorts. And then in the back, what you have is a really comprehensive glossary. We've, we've come to this before, but your glossary of terms is really comprehensive. So, um, for example, how many of you know what a Hong Kong seam is? Um, your flat seam with binding used to encase and neaten the raw edges. If you were at the Great British Sewing Bee and you saw... Um, Heather Jacks on our stand, then she was doing Hong Kong seams. Look beautiful, not heard of them before. $12.95 for that. Fabulous book, everyone should have it. Next book, let's go Encyclopedia of Embroidery Techniques. We've got a few embroidery, um, a few encyclopedic type books and they just are brilliant. Just there for reference. There we go. Now, the f look at that. Oh, my word. That's the dream, isn't it? Being able to embroider something like that. <coughs> I'm going to go to the back, I think, where there are some beautiful pictures. I will start at the front and go back, but look. Embroidery. All embroidery. Look at that. Woohoo! So, lots of inspiration here. If you're just not even sure what is possible, with your embroidery techniques. Hey, look, it's all in there. Just such a stunning book. 
Look at that. Isn't, yes, oh wow. That's embroidered. It is embroidered, look, it is. Um, Sophie Standing's art combines applique and free motion embroidery. The details of the animal are created by sewing with different colored threads. Working on a large scale, her pieces can be up to one and a half meters. That's 1.6 yards long. If you want to come in really close, you can see that stitch detail in there. Look at that. Just stunning. Just stunning. I want to make an elephant. Uh, £12.95 for that, even if you just look at it and go, Whew, wow, brilliant. Uh, now, what's coming in tomorrow? Hopefully, John. Is it me tomorrow? I was going to say, I've got, I've got my day sorted. Uh, it's Monday tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, so it is John tomorrow. And it's Make It Monday. What are we making? We're making a so special collection at, nine, at 8 a.m. And then 9 a.m., oh, the Snap It purses. They're always popular. Uh, the Jim Carner collection. Giddy up. And then Quilt As You Go at 11 a.m. That is what we've got coming up on a Make It Monday. I'm... I'm slightly uh, intrigued by the Jim Carner collection. Mm. Now, uh, let me explain one more time our web only offer. A little bit of confusion. T's and C's all on the website if you want to check those out. But we have a web shop, which is sewingquarter.com. We can't bring everything to air from the web shop always. So this is just to show you that if, if you do go and find other things on the website that haven't been to air and spend over £20 using the code free one, you'll get your free pinking shears. It's just while stocks last. So today's TV um, things that we've had on the show today, not going to qualify, has to be web only. So if you haven't seen it on the TV... Then, um, then, you know, it's there as something that you can purchase to qualify for this deal. It's while stocks last and it will be running today and tomorrow up until 11.59pm. Thank you ever so much for all of your lovely emails. Check out your baskets. Lots of sellouts. Gosh, what a busy day. It's been super busy. Um, and thank you ever so much to our wonderful guests, Lucy and Irene, who've just been great sports and uh, a wealth of knowledge as ever stunning stunning items on the show so thank you ever so much of course only possible if you join us and uh, and get involved so thank you for that remember your pmp is done per day and if you're stuck on anything at all give our customer services a call that's 0800 112 4433 that is a uk based free phone number and they're absolutely lovely in fact derek got a shout out from customer services yesterday because he was so helpful um so there we go have a lovely rest of your sunday get that roast on the go and i would be back on tuesday john's in tomorrow see you then bye-bye this monday joe carter will be bringing bags of beautiful gift ideas to the sewing quarter studio the versatile 10 purse clasp collection can be made into any number of gorgeous accessories among joe's creation will be glasses cases purses and of course attractive evening bags too so if you want to fashion some festive stocking fillers or treat yourself to a new accessory, join Jo as she shares her top tips on how to transform these clasps into stylish creations. So join us on Monday the 2nd of October at 9am, only on Sewing Quarter Freeview Channel 78.